NPR. We got people already joining. Today is December 28th, 2020. It's almost the end of the year. And I am going to take a moment to get some of the Hello. paperwork together for sharing. Hello. How do you pronounce your name? Kish, Kishan. Kishan. I read, I read the notice in uh, the OA chat. You are like officially representing OA. Uh, yeah, officially representing right? OA. Yeah. Okay. Today's representative. Awesome. Well, I'm Lyra. This is Nathan. And we're here to um, start getting all of these pieces together into a visual map that shows what each of us is doing and how each of us can collaborate based on what we're presenting for our platform or our project and then plural, <clears throat> plural. yes and so if you'll give me a minute i'm gonna turn off this video um let us let us know a little bit more about your project there, your your side. Uh, my side, well, um, yeah, I got brought into the OWA project um, right at the beginning um, because I had something similar called, well, I'd been, been wanting to try and create something similar called the Elements of Change for like the last 13 years. Um, so I'd done a lot of work in uh, what are all the different parts, who, you know, how, how does this complex system kind of work together and, uh, but basically got myself in the position where I, I, I was able to string together quite a lot of or network together a lot of different ideas and a lot of different people and see how they could all fit together. Um, and that's where I really found myself. I found myself really dealing with how do we deal with the, the, the amount of information that we've got and, uh, and the, the tools that we create. How do we make the how do we create integrity within them? How do we make them robust? How do we. How do we make sure that we have the best information that we've got? How do we listen to everybody? How do we hear, you know, all, all these different questions and all the little tiny things that you have to kind of bring together before you even start, like, what, what tools can we build? It's like, how do we actually understand ourselves so we can build those and then understand how to build those tools? Um, and I think, that, I think that's where I've basically kind of found myself uh, over the last five years after meeting with Andrea, um, Brett and Chris and... Um, the whole uh, Together Life Systems people who were seven, uh, seven S Foundation back then, and that, that I brought them, kind of brought them in onto onto this project because of the amazing work they were doing with uh, trying to understand social architectures and how to get people to see each other better and all those questions that I was just explaining. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm I'm really really in that sort of function, like wanting to uh, see how. It, all the different parts and people that are out there, how they could all come together and start to share that information and share their different parts and learn from each other. Um, you know, just create, help to create that ecosystem that allows everybody to come in and, and play. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now, yes. Okay. Yes. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. And we yeah. have we have a couple of people trying to join right now. Um, so give me a moment. Because, uh, uh, it to... sounds a very big uh, idea. Yeah. Have you have you tried to make a case study on a particular uh, business case or application where you can? narrow it down and see how it works see how what works yeah it is it is very general big thing what you are speaking about yeah. have you tried to to minimize it on a, a, a prototype or a study case and see how it works in certain field i can imagine for example i have a business idea um, and it deals with people so to 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 bring it down on on a part 
particular business case or field of application instead of having it very general? Yeah, um, we, we are beginning with, uh, so this started off, this has been a, an, an emergent kind of conversation that we've had and what we've uh, where we've found ourselves at is we're working with a number of regenerative um, organizations. People are looking at how do we regenerate the damage that we've done in, in the world. And so from that perspective to start building a database that could help um, people with organizations and business is that deal with that to say the solutions that people are using around the world to um, specifically uh, fix any damage that we've done, create better agriculture systems, these sorts of things. So in, in that sort of realm of the, uh, the regenerative movement is the first one that we've, we thought would be a good place to start considering that's, you know, one of the fundamental problems yeah. we have in the world is okay. the pollution and problems that we've created. That, that, that's great. You have a candidate, me, my, my, I, I, I'm trying to, Post local generative economies around the mm -hmm. world, and 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 have this supported by uh, people away from their home, so that they this they they purchase together uh, the goods from home. So uh, I would like to connect with you and see uh, how your system would would work for my application and get benefit of that. So uh, if you don't mind, we can have a one-to-one -one, uh, For sure. call and to see how things fit together. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm going to have to leave the room for a moment. I apologize. My computer just froze on me. But it should, the meeting should continue going. Um, meanwhile, I just want to, my mouse just isn't working. I apologize. I'll be right back. That's okay. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so, so could, could you tell us a little bit more about, about your project then? Uh, how do I say your name, by the way? Well, well my name is Wael, Wael. Wael, Wael. Cool. Wael, uh, right. yes. Wael, yes. Um, and well, so what's your project? Could you, could you describe it a little bit more? Yeah, I have been trying to find a way to connect Palestinians together 15 years ago. It is very old vision. So that we are building a state something. beyond borders. And recently, almost one year ago, I, I have this idea that, uh, that people abroad uh, build groups and, and purchase together uh, goods from local regenerative uh, producers, uh, and uh, I, I I designed uh, somehow uh, the ARP system. How how the the data flow and how is the bundling order bundling is working, and how it is splitted according to the product card, and how the processors are collecting. The, good, uh, the products from the producers. And so it is about purchasing system and uh, it's without a middleman so that the, the producer are, are directly supported by their natives and other uh, consumers, uh, sorry, um, uh, responsible consumers. So the, the consumers and the natives, they build hubs, community hubs, where they order together a bulk order from that country. And they have a direct communication with the local regenerative producers and they are often marginalized. And this way you empower them, you make resilience and, and, and you know, the all effects behind community building and being regenerative and self-organized. All these memes uh, will, come together with the, this kind of relationship so it is a it is a it is a system design and uh, i'm based in germany i'm starting i'm trying to 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 develop the, this project and build an organization to run it cool cool amazing and, and it's going to be specifically for palestine right no 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 this is the, the it is the proof of concept is with Palestine is can, I mean, you need to build a system and see it running. And one, once it's running for one country, 
and you have the logistics and your first order, then you can duplicate it to other countries. And it is 2 billion users uh, um, application and 100 billion euro per year market size. So because the number of immigrants and, and responsible consumers around the world is really high. So it is, it is a big business case actually. Yeah, absolutely. I would agree. I definitely agree with you on that one. Is it? There's, there's a lot of people who do want to, given the choice, would make much better choices in their life um, that, that harm a lot less. Uh, but it's it's not having the choice and not having the ability to see what your your choices cause is, I think, a massive problem. Yeah, it is about uh, bringing the people from 3D into 4D so that they recognize the connections and resources and the the possibilities we have once we are connected and and it is a direct application deals with producers i mean people can go back to their rural areas start working together having nice products and get this sold with a decent price uh, uh, so i have a whole description for this but uh, I, i'm stuck with the project because it needs resources it needs it needs money or resources to, to bring it forward. So, <laughs> as most things do <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you, Al. Yeah. And, and uh, Kashan, I'm hoping this will work now on, the, on this computer. And I wanted to bring a, a presence of mind here to the law of one, um, because this is what we're all talking about. So, the law of one. Uh, I am one with all that is, therefore, in the name of all that I am, and I am one with all, uh, we, when one is harmed, all are harmed, when one is helped, all are helped, and when one is healed, all are healed, and we're here to heal together, and, and therefore, in the name of who I am, and I am one with all that is, I ask that only that which is in the highest good of all concern happen. And I give thanks that this is so, so be it. And we're here to help organize these efforts because there are individuals and pods out there everywhere doing great things. This is the great work that we are all being challenged to accomplish here. And like Well says, there, there's, it's hard to find resources right now because we are so remote and we are in so many different places and, and we need to have more organized formats that can be implemented anywhere as proof of concept, test <clears throat> and implementation. And part of doing that is being able to recognize what each of our pieces are that we're bringing to this collective environment. So, you know, being here, you're here because you know who you are and what you're doing. And, and you know a little bit about what Great Works Alliance is doing here. And we wanna start talking about those agreements that we all want to be involved with and, and acknowledge within each other the talents, qualities and abilities, strengths, and then to support those weaknesses in others with our own strengths. And so the, this, this then goes into, we have um, the pillars of ethics that I don't know if you have checked this out. This is based on the human resource management studies that I did a couple of years ago, and then our our path, what our path is as light workers, and we're we're doing heavy work. Working as light workers doesn't mean that we're always in the light. We're actually in the darkest places out there. We're doing this hard work trying to organize things in a new structure <clears throat> because you can't fix a broken system. And the idea here is we're, we're creating a system that works, that can replace the broken system. We, we all acknowledge at some levels 
in, in our communities and in our personal local environments, whether it's um, environmental issues, social issues, parenting issues, community issues, that the system is failing. And so, um, you know, we, we got to look at the, the base, the root, and make sure that our foundation is strong and resilient and unbreakable. And so um, if you would like to look at this chart further, I can share it in the chat. And um, we also have a information introductory packet to share as well. Hey, Bart. Cool. Welcome. Welcome. <clears throat> so Bart, Bart is here. He's, yes, he's been doing you. some work. Yeah, he's been doing some work on mind mapping and sharing from his lens the different organizations and how they might fit together into this service matching that we're we're doing here. So, um, thank you for joining today. Yes, it's a little bit spontaneous, last minute, and I'm having lunch, so <laughs> I hope I, you don't mind if I eat something in between. Oh, it's great fine. to be here. This, this, this is all thanks to uh, Nula kind of sparking it off, dovetailing off of Jay Phoenix's meeting, what was it, a few days ago? Between a few days to a week ago. It was on Wednesday. Yeah. And, and so this is, yeah, we're just looking to continue this conversation and continue looking at the ways that we can help each other. Because when we're working together in the teamwork model, we're able to accomplish so much more and, and be able to expand this whole community and and build upon that and keep on building. Imagine how many how many containers you can stack. <laughs> no, absolutely, absolutely. So, um, how how do you think you, you would like to formulate this? And um, are we do we want to talk about the different ways that we're each kind of because I think I, I think a few of us have been kind of mapping these things out in slightly different ways. Um, so there could be there could be a conversation about what are the different ways that we've been mapping it, what are the different perspectives that we've been mapping it from, and then maybe how those might be overlapping or integrated. I'm not too sure, like, how, how would you like to kind of uh, move that conversation along? Yeah, the, the goal is to start with the base fundamentals, like uh, baseline agreements. Where do we stand? What do we agree on? If anybody comes up with a modification, we want to jot it down so we can start refining it. Um, right. And what it's just playground continuous are we, development. And what playground are we, we all going to be able to play in together that we can all, like, whether we're having these meetings, we, we can have these meetings as many times as, you know, as necessary. But on top of that, what can we go and work on in the network that everybody is able to contribute? What we need to make that agreement, I think, as one of our first agreements so that we can move uh, forward uh, fluidly. Maybe, well, maybe may to narrow it down a bit, my, I would like to ask the question what's the purpose of this call? What's the desired outcome for right. now? So, what yeah, I did is there. I created an agenda form, and this is about just beginning this conversation because there's going to be a lot that goes on and we I wish that I could um, zoom in but I'm having an issue with that at the moment oh there you go okay you figured it out <laughs> so we started you know by talking about <laughs> and then I get it's not going to let me go down. Okay. Page down. Okay. It'd be great if I had 
We're we're working with some keys and and glitches popping up every now and then on the laptop. So bear with us. All right. So the idea here is to start with the agreements and then to work on the the, the governance model mapping. I think that first and foremost, we want to make sure everyone is recognized for what they have done in, in their own projects. Um, and we did do a spreadsheet like others have done, and we're looking at what the front end and back end and tech service meshing options are for each of the different groups. We have David Elam's here with Our World, and he's been doing a lot of work on his end, you know, with, with the Oasis and there's, yeah, there's, there's a lot that he's contributing here and we want to know what others are contributing and how this can mesh. It, we can all connect all of our gifts and talents into one space, one communal space where we're not going and spinning our, our wheels or trying to reinvent the wheel, <laughs> but that we're able to um, connect all of these pieces like that great body of work and, and it, it be that collaborative collective artwork that we can all play with. And I think that the first step is to find out what your specific set of goals is like for your project. For example, for a while, um, you know, in, in, in putting what you've been putting together and where you see that piece fitting. And, and, and then we can go like with Bart and, and Guyanette, where the piece there fits and how those can mesh and how David and Oasis API can mesh. And, and this meshing process may take weeks, maybe even months, but I, I believe that it will support all of us in our efforts to get out there and get the funding and resources and support and, and other people involved when we're able to have this network showing that these projects exist, they're everywhere, and we have connections between each of the projects. So we're all checking each other's notes and offering new information to the collective while also being able to autonomously expand our own projects. I don't know if that. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know, it, 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 it totally makes sense. So maybe I can give a little bit of clarity from um, the open world uh, perspective. So we've uh, we, we've begun the, this conversation kind of, sort of internally with the with the. Um, work streams that we've got at the moment on our regenerative database and we're doing something called a field mapping uh, database as well which is ex exactly what you're talking about what who are the different players what are their visions how do they how do they fit it, the one the one that we've been looking at starting uh, on in the uh, we're doing it in an air table at the moment it's kind of prequel to uh, what Andrea and Brett and the Together Life Systems are sort of wanting to create and the theories that they've got with their system. Um, but also on top of that, I am just about to start just doing a, a very basic, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, state of play map, I think it would be the best term. So what are the conversations that us internally in, in the OWA are having, who we're having it with and what those work streams will look like? So there's for for us at the moment there's kind of two 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 or three different things that we're looking at there's the the tool that we want to build to start building that can do this like for a, a scaled with loads of people and all the like real detail into those things then there's the information that we um a, a kind of database and a way of communicating with in the now 
and then uh, as I said uh, j just some visuals right now for us to be able so when new people come in they can actually get a, a fairly easy like okay so here's here's one project here's another project here how they're kind of connecting here's where some of the conversations are happening so those would be the three things that, that we've started working on how to what are the parameters what are the fields that we need to actually start logging um how do we we were talking with one person who builds um uh, databases like this and like like one of the things that we hadn't thought about was adding a key to each piece of information so that later on down the line when we have a large set of information we want a system to search that data all bits of data have to the conversation and there's the social architectures about those conversations as well so this this set there's several different things that we, uh, um kind of topics that, we, that we're discussing that all have that still have a lot of talking to do but once we kind of get a, a much better idea from the different players then we can actually start putting that data down um in a much more uh logical manner uh would, would be the case so we, we work the, for, for the tools that we're wanting to create um that's probably the longer conversation that we're having and wanting to like talk people to get it right for the current conversation which i think this th this one is quite useful for is actually starting to see a few more of the players and starting to say okay has anybody else thought about this for their own ball for, for, for that part of your project so that we can go, okay, so here are the, here are the different parts of your project. Here are the different um, tools that you're creating and services that people are creating. Here's how you would want your agreements to be. So for in, uh, an interesting thing is there's a lot of government go governance models out there and uh, different people really feel that their way of doing governance is the best way for them. And some think it's the best way for, 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 for a larger majority. But if we can start to maybe see how the different players um, are seeing the way they wish to do agreements, we can then start to see the overlaps, start to see where the compromises can be made, start to see where, okay, well, this group of people have a very specific thing that they believe in, and that comes into, um, uh, that, that butts against somebody else's way, way of thinking about it. So th th these would be maybe the conversation that this, this uh, meeting is, is um, creating is that is how do how do we each see what we want to do and how we want to do it and how aligned are those th th those different ideas and those different ideologies um in that right um yeah what everybody is saying and what we're hearing from everybody that needs to be done and we've all started i think with, from our own perspectives and our own research and trying to piece some of those things together. We need to tie them all together and see how they overlap and find out where the gaps are and help each other in that because some of us are going to be amazingly strong in the business startup creation and process management and by processes and all that. And others are going to be amazing at creative and philosophical ideas. Others are going to be amazing at research in different areas. <clears throat> and this is where we need to pull everything together. Whether we have the tools or not, we're willing to do old school, you know. <laughs> oh, the, 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 the tool, the, 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 the tool value in that. We, we, we can do all. We can, we, we can do pretty much all anything. That's not the problem. Yeah. It's just slightly longer at the moment, slightly more complicated, not as efficient, not as, you know. <laughs> so there, there's, right. we, and by doing those, we can work how oh, oh well we definitely want to put this into our system because we can't do that now and these sorts of things so this, this is like the uh, the sandboxing uh right. space that we're in of like how do we start to learn all this do, do you think uh maybe that's something that we haven't done because we, we have a few people that are talking about social architecturing but then uh, we don't have maybe like a, a way of logging how people want to do that or what sorts of agreements people believe in Maybe, maybe there's like a space that we could create and we could, as, as organizations, we could start putting that down as, as one of the first things so we can see the way uh, we each structure the way we want to do things. Maybe that could be a... That's actually kind of the point of what, where we're trying to start with right exactly. now. Exactly. Right. First, yeah. before we get to that... I want to recognize uh, we Michael. We want to recognize Michael Loveroot. Say, 
let us know a little bit about yourself. Are you the individual that uh, who had let us know that she was wanting to invite? Yes, I am that individual. Um, okay. I, uh, in terms of what we were just talking about, in terms of organizing the sort of the database of network of networks or whatever you want to call it, um, I think uh, I, four categories came to my mind that would be sort of a simple way to organize it. You know, a vision, values, needs, and offerings. And so like, I think if you start simple, each organization that wants to join the Alliance can put a description in each of those four categories. From there, it can be expanded, but I think those four are pretty, are pretty simple to start with. And then it gives you an idea of like, oh, how can I connect with this organization? Here's what they're offering. Maybe they have something I need. Here's like their vision and value. So I know like how to start talking with them and stuff like that. And so um, I think that's cool. In terms of me personally, uh, I uh, recently took a workshop on currency design with Lua and that's how we met. Um, but other than that, you know, for the past five, 10 years, I've been thinking and writing about and being involved in different projects about much of what everyone's been talking about here uh, throughout the time we've been together. And then last thing I'll say is in terms of governance, I think like, that can get tricky because you know it gets very philosophical and people can argue and stuff so i think starting with just like how we can sort of exchange economically you know through vision value needs and offerings can be great and then i think for me i'm somewhat anarchist in my government philosophy and so like i just subscribe to sort of the three basic laws and beyond that each local community can decide what they want to do for themselves like you know, no assaulting each other, no stealing or destroying each other's resources and no holding anyone captive beyond their will. And so, um, so yeah, so I think that's the basic gist. But for me, most recently, I've been trying to work on this framework of how, in, how to intermesh all of the cool projects and um, organizations around the world. And I think that simple framework is something I've settled, settled on recently, so. Very nice. I've written it down in the messages so that everybody can look at that. And, and you know, if we can all come to some uh, base agreements uh, on these <clears throat> topics because I mean we're when you look at values there are some, some I would even suggest of, right. at this point because people always disagree and I'm not going to agree with your values at the end of the day not in full detail and in their full scope and meaning and in the way that you think the about the different words I don't know the, at the end of the day I think we all have these different things. There's even the 10 Burning Man principles, there's the 17 uh, goals, there's the, uh, there's all these different ways uh, and these four um, sectors, for example, and I think they should all be considered. And I think they're all like, even in most people's uh, minds, they're always sort of circular or it's like a field. And then that can be, um, I don't know, like, in my mind, on your phone, that can be something that somehow, like, if you have an app and uh, you train yourself to differentiate flicking content into 17 different directions and you happen to be working for those 17 development goals and that's, that's your interface and you can just flick into all these directions, then that would make it easier for you to uh, understand your content and stuff like that. And uh, that might also help with... Um, yeah, these, like, not even get, like, super into all the agreements, just know that there are agreements and get into the meta uh, architecture of those, because we know that each group is going to have a very, very well articulated and well thought through and felt through a set of uh, values, usually already put in a circle <laughs> for our convenience. Uh, and that's, I feel like to me, that's sort of uh, also like the rainbow bridge, like bridging these value sets that uh, all these groups have and um, yeah, creating these um, hyper objects like hyper cards back in the day 
um, that just um, yeah, com like continuously dynamically filter and adjust to whatever is relevant and how things are changing over time. So that it's just so dynamic and so um, free of uh, its own uh, judgment because it's really only the meta infrastructure in between kind of. I think, and, and I think we in our space are at this really unique point where the tools that Phoenix has and what um, uh, Vile uh, said, I think, I don't know if I missed it in the beginning, I would love to hear uh, Vile's uh, three-step uh, process again. And yeah, again, like there is, we all have processes, right? And we have um, value sets, correct? And then the rest is kind of like, to me, like the rest works by itself. Like if we just focus on um, understanding that and as everyone was already saying earlier, like how they align, how they overlap, how they overlay and how like if you have something in your um, perspective thinking about it like oh this is like economic economics or this is like, like that direction maybe for someone else it's um yeah um trade or something but then that kind of pops up in their way of thinking about something so you really have a real overlay of those kind of mindsets um yeah and i think that like working on how to visually have this interface for all of us uh, that would super like be super helpful for us to have and uh, yeah, Vael, maybe you have the three steps again. Mm, before yeah. I go there, can I uh, give a quick, um, my perspective a little bit on this? Please, Please stay. Uh, okay, from my perspective, mm -hmm. it seems like, uh, yes, we are um, very much aligned in a lot of values, but it would make sense to not have a moving target for everything, have some sort of basis, of something we can all agree on, especially because we're so aligned. So let's find some values, a vision, our needs, our offering, what we can all agree on from all our very similar points of views that we can then have perhaps a um, Rainbow Bridge collaborative or a collective. We can federate it so everyone has their own thing or we can have an overarching thing like a big circle and everyone has their little hole on, which can be different, but we still have an overarching vision, values and offering of the whole collaboration of things. Might this not make our organization a little bit clearer for people that don't- um, Yeah, agreed. I think I might be going the second step for the first. Right, because maybe not everybody has this uh, mega brain like you. Maybe other people like me need this to be spelled out so we understand it. Thank you. Yeah, I, I completely agree, agree with, I fully agree with that. So, so, so maybe there is, so it's difficult to come to an, a, a, like a, a fully agreed one just between a small group and then that be the agreed vision that then everybody then uh, like go, kind of buys into after that. What might be, as, as we were saying before, those four I, steps. Of, go on. There's this, there's this, um, I feel like it's almost what we're building when, when like, because I feel like we are kind of still interested in this uh, meta uh, architecture of these kind of uh, collectives, right? But I feel yeah. um, what we are building in the beginning though, and that's really, really key. That's really key in uh, like from uh, artificial intelligence uh, insights uh, that really, yes, the mechanism is key, but also, like what Lua said, like it's really, really important to very delicately balance, especially the beginning content. To me, I, I'm looking at this like all of our stuff is just going to be a ton of sample content, basically, right? And then that merged eloquently. And then other people can kind of copy that and run with their own kind of concept. But still, like having those core things in the beginning and how that's done really is... Um, just as important as the uh, uh, mechanism itself. Uh, I want to, to well, I'm guessing yeah. that if we did record, like, yes, yeah, go on. Yeah, because, yeah, 
uh, the question when groups comes together and they start to investigate about uh, the vision and values and to, to think about things will come in the future. I think most of us have an alignment in that, but I, I, I think the problem is, is about how to co-create within the law of creation and not, I mean, how to, how to be and surrender and be co-creative together and without having these structures and, and, and pulling to our frames and to our uh, 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 thoughts we, which we have already in mind. And, and instead of talking about a vision, to talk about a status of, of group in co-creative mindset and, and, and how that can take place and, and, and this, is, this has been for 13 years my, my, my point of research, just because when this happened, then we are acting in the moment in the right way and we are not pushing to a, a certain direction. And this is the background of the ungovernance uh, methodology, which I came up with uh, that, um, about this three steps formula. So it is, it is a different approach in, instead of envisioning or writing about the visioning. So about how can we be together in a space of co-creation in the, in the creation, in the, within the law, one law of creation. And yeah, this is, a, this is my point of view of ungovernance and unstructured. It's a challenge, huh? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and yeah, this is this is why I mean this is how I came up with the three steps formula because you come up you come to co-create without having an agenda. So you you agree to achieve one mission together, and then then the next step you list the, the questions related to this mission, and then. You sort the questions in a logic way, and then you, in a wiki, you start writing the answer to these questions. So you are in co-creation mode. So you don't have any chance because you are attracted by the questions which you have raised up. Any thought in your mind, you put in a question and the people are just trying to align in that moment to the energy which is coming together and, and building the content together by answering the questions have been collected together. So these three steps for me is an answer how to become in that mindset of co-creation in, in the moment. And, and it, is a, it, is, it makes you free. You are not, you can jump, jump between the comments. You can see which, uh, which question is locked and we can, we can, it can be highlighted with red color. So you go and try to help there to answer this question and you are free of any projects. You, you reflect and respond to your intuition. And, and yeah, and, and this is actually, this is what I came up with, with an answer, how to be in the, in, in the, in the moment of course. And it's not about thinking about a vision or a project. It's about how to be in now and intuitive with, yeah, with alignment as, and, and, and yeah, surrendering and yeah. And I wish that uh, we can, I find a, yeah, we can try it and uh, with one project or, or another project or anyone who, well, any group who want to, Try it out. I'm, I'm, I would like again, to, to experiment. Could you share this Excuse with me. everyone here, Vael? Yeah, just put okay. the links in yeah. in messages, and and that way we can. We'll even when we publish this meeting, um, we'll put all the links in the description on on the YouTube channel at Great Works Alliance, and I think that this is a great model. Um, 
for projects, it is akin to scrum meetings. So in a scrum meeting, you come together as a group of individuals with a common mission. What's the mission? Okay, what do we want to accomplish? And, and usually we start with small missions. So like if there was for example, a mission to connect organizations together in a stream and show, I mean, that's not really an easy example. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, let's see, an easy example. I don't know, pick a mission, pick any mission, you know, and then sit down. We put together what is needed for that mission to be completed as a group. And, and so that those questions then are answered and then people take on whatever they feel comfortable with taking on to help complete that mission. Usually what happens at the end of a scrum meeting is that everybody does what they need to do to accomplish their piece to a mission. And then in a few days or a week, you know, everybody meets back together in the commons ground to see what the progress is, what might have actually been a uh, difficulty. And <clears throat> from there, you know, what, what we've done is we've developed a set of teams to complete missions. And the set of teams varies in skill set. So, you know, you have administrative team, you have the, the web development team, you have the legal team. Sometimes when a mission is being uh, worked out, you know, and, and, and people are working to complete a mission, they might need a skill set that their team does not have. But through this connection of networks, they can pull from another team and say, all right, I, I need this task completed. You have the specific skill set to help complete this task. And so the, that's why we have a ticket system that we've created. We're looking at uh, merging with some other software and, and making it more seamless and, and simplified. But the idea here is that there, there's gotta be a network of teams because there are scenarios and missions that one team is not gonna be able to accomplish but they can rely and outsource within the network of communities. That's part of why we're talking here about, you know, um, what each of you has to bring, to share, to offer is because when we get to a point of understanding that, then it makes it so much easier for everybody to accomplish their mission. As far as the ungovernance model, I just wanted to put it out there. There, and and we talked with um, Lua yesterday about this. There are those that are self-driven and self-governing and able to do this kind of you know, structure without being guided or spoon-fed the steps needed to accomplish their mission. There is also another set of individuals that are not like that. And we do want to be able to reach out and, and hold out that hand to lift them up and enable them to also be a part of accomplishing those missions. And, and I think that that is something that we should, as a collective network, be considering in all of you know, our conversations and vision the vision here that we're all kind of coming to a conclusion of is we want to bring Eden back to earth. I mean, we want to fix the world, save the world, create the system that's going to save the world, work together to co-create a better reality. I mean, and I could continue expanding, but this is what I've heard from every single one of you in one time or another. And so I think we have that uh, already pretty alive. Now, um, living documents is another thing I wanted to address in this because as with everything, things change. 
And when you have a living document, it can continue going through a metamorphosis with the collective being involved in that metamorphosis to improve upon what we have individually contributed and make it more um, seamless and impenetrable. We wanna be an impenetrable force here, don't we? I mean, we wanna make sure that we're not, we're not gonna be uh, bought out by some big business or corporation that we're not gonna end up in jail for doing something we're not legally supposed to be able to do, et cetera, you know? And, and these are also things we gotta look at, making sure we're protecting ourselves and the collective. I absolutely agree with you. Yeah. Um, I, I, so what would, what would you feel would be a good next step then? I like this, this idea of collecting that information of those, those four parameters, the, the values, needs, uh, resources, and, and then having that as maybe a starting thing that we could each go away with and put that down, each of us. And then we start to figure out how how best we can start to log that information as i said we've, we've started a bit of an air table with a, with a few different things i could maybe get andrea to i think she's done one where she explained it maybe um we can get uh, a more details as we're going to because i said it's, it's a it's a conversation that's going on at the moment as to what parameters we want to log how we're going to log those how we're going to then visualize those things at a later date um uh, is is this are we looking at as, as this is something that we we need we need to get coherence in the in the now or something that we want to try and develop some sort of system that makes it quite easy uh, that's a bit later on down the line what do you what, 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 do you, I would start what are you all thinking right now i would start right now i'm being practical just let's open a document and see what we want to collect and then build the air table and just start using the time to bring something in and then we see what is going on and then we can continue from that well we, we can definitely um we can definitely uh start to share the air table that we've done as well and then maybe those can combine and we can see because we were looking at how air table can then be visualized in kumu and um okay. other visualization yeah. apps and and these sorts of things yeah, which will yeah. make it easier for people to see all the data because there's a lot at the moment. And as I said, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm slowly putting together a, a a state of play map, which is a lot simpler and not and so that's not from the perspective of getting a database together to use. It's more to get a visual of who we all are and where we all sit to give us a better idea because I, I, I've. I've, I've there's, this conversation has happened a few times with a few different people now and all feeling the same thing of what they want to do. So I think that there could be just a nice, just a, a visual that we could create for the now um, that we can just add to in, in different ways until we have an actual databasing system that can, that can turn out data for us far, far more efficiently and actually gets to see the field and the amount of data that we've got in that field a lot more effectively. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll definitely share those, those two like things that. when they get. I'll share those two things when they get done. I'll speak with Andrew about the Airtable, so then you you can all. I'll see if I can find one of the videos. I'm not too sure which video it was where she she did explain the different parts, so then you can see her thinking on it and where that's kind of going. Um, and I don't know if you've seen the Awakening Dreams uh, episode where she and uh, where she and Brett actually did an explanation of the Together Life systems. Um, so if you go into the Awakening Dreams YouTube channels, it should, there's there's one that's specific where where Andrea's talking for most of it, and she goes through the whole system, which then get that can give you context into her thinking um, onto that. And so that's one one of the types of ways that I think that we can do this. Uh, what else ways? Like he was saying, like it would be really good. Uh, to, to find projects that we can actually test different systems on and see where they fit and um, how they can kind of like coexist maybe with different projects having different systems because that, that those systems fit the people better. Um, like you were saying, Lua, like, you know, you, know, you, you, you deal with be, having 
a bit more certainty and that vision and being able to see and it being a bit explained a little bit more. Whereas whilst uh, um, one is far more free, free, free flowing and seeing, and if those, if there are people that are far more into that flow and seeing where things go, then that would, that would be an excellent system for them to be able to do, I think a lot more agile as well. Um, not saying the visions can't be changed, but uh, you get what I mean. There's, there's, there's different ways of uh, awakening resources. Uh, Together life systems, it was, um, Lua. And uh, and so yeah, so, uh, so I I, th I think if we can start to to see how these different systems are, these different um, methods are uh, designed, uh, then we can start seeing which projects they might be good for, or even offering the different designs to different projects and saying, read through these. What would you like? What what resonates with you? What would you like to try out and see as a governance model or a way of working or a methodology and all these different things? We're starting to, to, to accumulate quite a few different ideas from some very brilliant people um, who all, all have just differing perspectives on doing the same sorts of things. Right. It's different lenses. We all have a different lens. And yeah, what we it, 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 have it. started to work towards is taking each of those lenses, each of those projects, what they're they're looking at, you know, addressing, and whether it's um, so. What I'm going to share here is just a, a short. Uh, all right, I'm I'm, I'm jumping okay. ahead. Mark, do you mind putting your map up on the screen for everybody to see and add the link into the chat? Please? The same one. That I, I didn't completely understand it, but I think you're asking if I can put it on the map, right? Yeah. The, the same one that you shared with us uh, and put well, in the, all the Telegram chat also. It, it's kind of like a yeah, positional I think it might mapping. Be a good start. The only thing is I'm on my phone. I'm on my phone currently. Oh, okay. okay. Okay, just okay. drop it in the My chat. The battery is about to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me see. Plug it in. <laughs> I can okay. look up the link. Can we agree on, on, on editing one mission? We can, Do we have it? We want to work one together. Say that again. Can we agree on formulating one mission we want to work on together. I, I, I bought a document. I just, just let's start working on formulating one mission where we feel, okay, we want to work on that together. And then to see what is the next, which, I mean, if you want, we can then write, then the next step we can agree on whether we want to write questions that are, uh, will bring us forward or what, whatever else, because I'm confused about what we want to accomplish now together. It was a suggestion to start building a table with projects, but then we have something else has been talking. So, so if, we, if we formulate the mission, then we have a clear mind and then we, we have a focus. I think that's um, what um, Nathan was, was trying to bring here with this. This is that mind map, Miro mind map. Um, I'm having. Oh, look at that. I'm sorry. Hold on. Gotta, gotta get it set up so that we can zoom out. Okay. There we go. All right. So. We have to share it again first. We have to go through. Yeah. A lot of moving parts here. <laughs> Put in your hand. Okay. Here's Guy in that ecosystem map. And we'll see if I can. There we go. Provide an overview of an ecosystem that GaiaNet operates in containing all the pioneering new earth projects that we have on our radar and or work with so far. 
This serves to help everybody to easily navigate the landscape of the more beautiful world that is emerging. For who? For anyone interested in exploring new paradigm projects, want to contribute? Do you know a project that should be on this map? Yada, yada, yada. Okay, so Bart's got this broken up into the wheel of co-creation and he has a legend right over here that's color coded according to fractal with Guyanet on radar, made contact or having a collaboration. So this is pretty cool for getting a glance real quickly of where someone is, organization, you know, I'm not exactly partial to, to this as like one of my favorite uh, layouts, but I think this is beautiful and very well thought out and a great start that we can all pull from to collaborate, collaborate our ideas. Yeah. I think it's important to notice that uh, this is just a proposal to do it like this and it's just a manner to get into motion and get something that's practical and usable because a lot is happening and uh, well we're kind of impatient as well <laughs> we don't know how long it's going to take and um, there's a lot of people waiting for this so this is just the first start to have something that's practical and usable and it's very simplistic still, you know, there's only links to websites, but I completely agree with this uh, model of having like the, the vision, mission, then some values and the needs and uh, offerings. I think that would be very nice to have just a quick snapshot of what kind of puzzle piece are we talking about? That's basically what we're looking at, right? To map all the different puzzle pieces and how they fit together in the larger puzzle. Yeah. So it doesn't right. yeah. so much like what we decide, as long as it's simple and it's good enough. That's usually how we work. Just work with good enough and don't try to make it perfect instantly. You can but reshape it's already and adding value instantly. While you're you moving. Know? Like Sorry, exactly. but it's already adding value. Like, like instantly that for us, like having that overview, having that change adapt, like having all of us kind of input new people and stuff, like actually using that kind of tool, that would already be such a great value for all of us. Yeah. So when I when I hear the suggestion of these four elements, I'm I'm thinking like it would be great if we can integrate that in this map. Yes. I think then already we have something very specific and useful that's valuable for all of us and we can have a bit collaborate on I'm trying to start CWA on the map because we're like all over the place <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, again it goes back I'm sorry what to... is your question again uh, another question just a comment I, I think you're going to have to have a difficult time or a challenging time trying to chart the the different segments for where GWA comes in because we're not exactly that compartmentalized that we're where we just fit into like one or two of those categories because we're we've been uh -huh. designing from our perspective to be like a um, a flagship type model kind of like an umbrella and a co-op all from one entity and wanting to overlap what others doing at that point and then fitting in others that slide into those smaller niches you know, to where we're really collaborating really strong and hard with everybody. And David Elons is also talking about for our world, mm -hmm. he, he's got education that is a part of it and there's some other categories. So and that's why we have our spreadsheet set up so that we're looking at all of the different areas each of these organizations is covering and then trying to pair those up along that spreadsheet. And then Kishan, did you have something you want to say? No, no, it's okay. You just said exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> you said exactly what I was going to say. Michael. I yeah, got something um, to say. I, I oh, think yeah, uh, I think I think ultimately what's going to be best is we design multiple frameworks. So like um, as y'all were saying, you have this spreadsheet that's more about matching in a certain kind of way and Bart has 
as this other, and you know, and there's going to be even more. And so I think over time, it, it'll be because different people respond to different ways. And so like some people will respond to the mind mapping, some people will respond to the matching service, and there'll be other ways, other frameworks, which we can develop as well. Um, yeah, they're all very and important. I just had a, yeah, I just had a quick question for you, Bart. I was wondering what the difference was between fractal within GaiaNet and collaboration on your mind map. Um, so just a quick idea of what GaiaNet is. We're building a social platform for new earth projects and people that are in some way creating um, this more beautiful world, a new paradigm. We're really looking at pieces of the puzzle to build a new paradigm. Um, and within that social platform that we currently use, we have Mighty Networks, maybe you know it. It's an off the shelf yeah. solution. Uh, and within that, we have different groups that we call fractals. And that's like your own subgroup. So on the map, the, the, the projects that you see that have a fractal within Guyana, they are actually represented on the platform as a fractal. Uh, but there are other projects that we have very good connection with, like Seeds. They are not a fractal on the platform, but we are collaborating with them. We're actively exploring how we can integrate their work with what we are doing. Into okay, the larger so like kind of the difference between a subgroup and a close connection type of a thing. Um, exactly. And then I had one last thing, but I think I forget it now. So uh, I'll pass it on to the next uh, person. Right. I believe Michael Gardner had a, a comment or question. Go for it. Um, yeah, I was just, I'm just listening. Everyone's just making perfect points the entire time. I'm so happy. And um, just wanted to, uh, maybe we can um, also, like that would be something that I would like to almost agree on also. I think that's so key to do uh, this thing. Uh, as you said, uh, great works uh, that like, you sometimes you feel like you're doing several sectors of those um, mm -hmm. 12 sectors from the co-creation, right? And I think in all of our circles, everyone kind of knows about those 12 sectors as well, right? I think it would be good to kind of promote this idea, maybe just as one sample that people can then change, but have that idea of voting themselves, but being able to vote on all the different sectors, like in a, a video game, you know, like how you say your uh, certain uh, soccer player has different talents and is like so agile and so um, f fast and acceleration or like how cars are like, you usually have this diagram, right? Also like in the circular shape. And I think if we just kind of sort of mentally go with that a little bit, I think that's super key in yeah, building this whole, um, yeah, infrastructure but also language and visual uh, uh, ways of seeing understanding kind of amongst each other yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. and um, i'll read it off okay so who all knows what the golden rule is which uh, do be kind others? to your do unto others as they do unto you from the Christian perspective. <laughs> you got it. Yeah. Also shared across the planet uh, through other cultures and, and uh, spiritual sectors and, and religions too. Like uh, Buddhists have an alternative version, which basically still says the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, all, they all say the same. <laughs> so. Can we all agree on we want to treat others like we want to be treated ourselves as a baseline? That yes. Seems fair. <laughs> yes. All right. That, that's like the primary purpose that, that I really want us to cover in this meeting. So we all have that baseline fundamental agreement. Um, and if, if we overlook that, we ourselves are negligent in that due diligence from a social as well as a business perspective. These are, these are baselines that we require as an individual and as different organizations in order to collaborate on any of these levels. So to ensure the integrity and merit of, 
the collective. We, the board members, this is coming from the GWN. Um, being of living, sound mind and body, free that Great Works Alliance will have a high degree of transparency. We expect full accountability for ethics at every level, including the collective board members. These collective positional standings, good faith, foundational, baseline of following policies and procedures adhere to the golden rule. Treat others as you want to be treated. We strongly believe that all people should be treated with dignity and respect, acknowledging full possible potentials, barring they have proven by informed choice to impose otherwise within the time of affiliation. Our pillars of principal ethical standards and collaboration are love, honesty, trust, honor, integrity, discernment, morality, respect, responsibility, reciprocity, passion, and transparency. We hereby establish a guide to fulfill their philosophy. Balance plus your cooperation equal harmony. People matter. Clear code of ethics. We make a commitment to protecting independent self children, families, communities, environments, and our planet. We consistently demonstrate care and dignity for people. We will be sure that decision-making in the organization carefully incorporate ethics. We will mentor leaders to implement proactive ethical leadership. Two, we follow a clear code of ethics. We avoid harm to a wide variety of players. We balance ethics with productivity and results. We carefully encourage, build, and protect trust of accountability. We choose the ethical path, even if others aren't. Three, we enforce all ethical expectations. Ethical behavior in the organization includes, but is not limited to, earnest work ethics, clean and clear representation of oneself during participation in organizational business, for other members, we share a clear messages about ethics and values, including but not limited to presentation, mature debates, Socratic debates, attending meetings, clean and sober. Four, we embrace corporate social responsibility. We will create and implement engaging and relevant ethics, training and messages, not the same old boring stuff. We are vigilant to use ethical actions that match ethical marketing. We are frequent, we have frequent conversations with all volunteers, players, allies, and contractors about ethics that honor work complexity, integrating within interaction as able. Five, leadership, communication, and limitations. Leadership should be aware of increasing ethical expectations. Leadership needs to stay progressive at times change, as times change. Leaders must possess skills of openness, receptiveness, and support and supportive engagement. Ethical boundaries. We provide a safe space to discuss ethical gray areas. We will take broad responsibility for actions as relevant to individual and group participation, including individually individuality and autonomy. We are always thinking in terms of our impact in a multi-directional path. Seven, values mindset, not a compliance mindset. We will use systems thinking to see the big picture. We welcome and act on feedback from players. All players, volunteers, allies, and contractors must be willing to do what it takes to become and remain in good standing to maintain an ethical organization. Eight, positive ethical role models. We recognize and praise ethical actions. We recognize, demote, or triage unethical actions. We have a strong commitment to improving leadership and culture in an ethical manner. Nine. Nine, I'm sorry. <laughs> Our performance guidelines and boundaries for behavior. The performance system should be fully integrated with ethical as Ten, we use the precautionary principle. We treat ethics as an ongoing priority. We treat people with care and dignity. Self-introspection, creativity, authenticity, and sincerity are revealed through the implementation of these pillars in our daily activities. 
So, so what's that going to be back? Where do you stand? What would you change? What would you alter? Have you taken note? Could you share this so we can also open it? Yes, absolutely. I'm sorry. I didn't do that. Hold on. <laughs> I didn't quite hear what you said there either. What, what did you just say before then? You got any notes? Anything to uh, uh, no, so I, they're, they're, they're what? Yeah, there, there, there's 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 probably a couple of the, a couple of those those ones that um, the wording on there for me would have been a bit vague, but I have to just go over it and then I'll, I can I can go over it and highlight you. It's one of that's that's something I like I quite like doing is going through like specifics of wording and how they can be perceived or come across, especially in like what's what's technically a legal document. Um, <laughs> it's, it's it's good to, to to kind of get clarity on some of those things, <laughs> right? This is the yeah. I'll, 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 I'll have I'll have a look through that and okay. There is the link. Yes, I need to drop off. My battery is dying. Well, thank Great you, Bart, for talk. joining talk us, later. and Great it's talk. much appreciated. Looking much forward appreciate. to connect. Boy, Lumi is having thank one thing of a time trying to join. Carry this conversation. <laughs> Lumi, welcome yeah, Lumi, back. Well, Lumi wants to be like uh, like everyone. Wants, he wants everyone to party when he joins, and I think we 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 failed to do that so far. So. <laughs> Lumi, we're happy you're hey. here. Hey, hey, <laughs> I don't know where the conversation is, but I want to share some of the dates, if that's okay. That I was on a, on a call with Raymond Powell right now, telling okay. them about the call that we have with Threefold tomorrow at three p.m. CET. Is that awesome. okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't want to disturb the flow of the call, but basically, I think we are all on the same, in all the collective calls that we're having about grounding and and finding a structure and how to collaborate. And I've been telling, I mean, I'm gonna be very vulnerable here. I think I've been already on Facebook and, and maybe too much out there, but, but it's been through the, self-awareness in myself of having bypassed my own self-reliance by wanting to organize a big thing for all of us to that I've just woke up from the illusion of living I don't know of of having bypassed that need of, of making a living I've been sustained by my family and friends for all this time until that's not more possible and it's it's asking me now probably it's also Saturn energy to really be specific and grounded and solid and, and not more talking and, and, and doing. I want to share here, and I was sharing this with Raymond, I don't know how many people know about protocol.love, uh, but you know he's talking about the importance of vulnerability and, and, and I've told him that, that I believe there's not more powerful thing that we can do in the world than creating a, a new value exchange that is based on a coherence aspect, which means every person that is interacting in reality at every single moment is modifying the, the entropy on the field around us. If everything is entropic and there's chaos in the universe, when you are using your consciousness from the most aligned version within your own system in service to the whole you are bringing coherence out of the entropy and is and if i am truly right and i understood mohan which is this biofield scientist that came up with this concept this coherence and randomness can actually be measured and hopefully also encoded in a token that he has described as a token based on holochain uh, based on how consciousness interferes with randomness. Uh, and this is what I just told Raymond, that if I had to choose one thing to focus on that I believe is the most powerful glue that could connect us all, is the ability to, to create and self-organize around a new value exchange that is based on this principle of, of coherence. Uh, uh, and I just told him this and he says he's fascinated about this and he says that he has been trying in our collective and our community to just offer 
organizational tools through what he calls this collective foundational agreement document of protocol that love. And I told him that this value exchange is what I've had so many conversations about with David Elams here present about being the karma. It's connecting to the karma system of, of what David was creating and, and that what we just need to do is, is create a foundation that makes us make this a reality. And he said that that's what he can actually do and assist with these collective foundational agreements. Uh, I told him that tomorrow there's a call with threefold in which I believe, you know, we could align them with this intention and he is happy and excited to be part of that call tomorrow to explore such a grounded initiative. I also connect, talked about Michael Papayakobos with, with his consortium and, and also Open World Alliance. Anyway, I, I don't know if I'm being not grounded enough or, but, but I just want to tell that, that Raymond is on board on this process. I know there's been some tensions in the past, but he's on board on, on the process of, of, collect, of creating a collective foundational agreement among different partners that he can assist on that process and would love to do that. And he's fascinated by exploring the concept of such a token based on coherence, which is another way of saying a token based on love, which is another way of saying, recognizing the value of all the, of everyone just by the way that they want to contribute. And, and I believe tomorrow could actually be a, a powerful grounding of such a thing because threefold as I've always perceived them as the, the ones who are the most lowest level in the sense of, of the technology stack of, of creating the, the infrastructure for the new internet. Uh, I don't know, this is what I would love, I wanted to share and I would love to hear your thoughts about whether what I've said is, makes sense or not because I also want to bring to the field that uh, I'm in the process of grounding myself and sometimes I miss whether I'm grounded or not or whether I, what, I, what I'm saying is, is realistic or not. I believe in this and I would love to hear your thoughts about what I just shared. That, that's awesome, Lumi. Cool. Hi, hi. Yeah, sorry, I just want to, I haven't said anything yet. Hi, Lumi, you don't miss anything. I think, well, much. I haven't really said anything because um, uh, up to now it hasn't really been that, that relevant to my piece. Any of what Lumi's been talking about, it's just, it's, just, it's, just, it's the um, technology side for me that that's, that's relevant. And I, I, cause I only see the technologies, the, the social architecture and the, and the um, governments and the economics and stuff you guys are talking about is not really my piece. So I don't really have yeah. much input in that. But it's, it's the technology, the low level, the technology that enables us all to talk to each other and to integrate and all these systems to interoperate that's what the rest of the API is that's my piece and that's the priority from my perspective is the focus because once we built that then we're not in silos anymore we all, all systems are talking to each other and everything's fully integrated from one central avatar system one single sign-on we haven't got all these separate spreadsheets and and different systems floating around out there and in silos it's one like um, way of, of all of them talking to each other to fully inter interoperated and all integrated. But we need to build from the bottom up, the bottom stack up first. And that's like um, Lumi is saying is threefold and hollow chain. And then the race API, and then that connects everything else together. And then the stuff you guys are talking about is on top of that. That's where I, uh -huh. I'm seeing. I see everything from a technology perspective. So um, I know we all come from different sides, but that's where I'm seeing it. And that's why I've been. I know, I know Tyler is saying, bang, I know you get tired of saying, but that's why I've been banging on about it for ages because I've been seeing that is what's the, the key, the missing point. And that's why it's sort of chaos and stuff because we, were, we weren't meant to be having these separate systems now. We were meant to have one one platform to kind of bring it all together. And that's what our world, those CPI is. That's what our, my mission was. I was told to bring, to, to, to integrate and I kept hearing, unite, 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 unite the clans, unite the clans, bring more together, bring more together. And I've got all these downloads of how to build a technology to bring it all together. But it's a massive job because it's so huge, and it's more than one, more than one person can do it. I, 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 that's why I keep saying funding, and and um, 
and I, don't, I won't go too far into other stuff, but the, the other team, they say they know they know how critical it is. They know it is, and that's why they keep sabotaging it. And they keep. Um, I won't go into all of the tax and everything else because we keep it energy high. But but it's the reason why Maybe. it's been delayed because, because because they know unity consciousness is the one doing when we unite. When Let we integrate everything, that 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 is when we 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 we, tra we, we trigger the event and we then move into five D. But um, that's why it's been delayed a lot, and that's why everything's a bit like chaotic now and confusion because that isn't where it's meant to be now. Like I don't believe that. So many signs. I don't, I don't, I don't believe it. Confirmation. <laughs> I, I I don't want to play more the concept of of of, of having received attacks. I don't know if it's true or not, and it's okay. I, I don't I don't want to say it's true or not. What I want to say is, let's focus on what we can do in, and not why it has not happened yet. And I believe everything is divine timing in the now because there's no other thing than the right now. So right now we are blessed to be all of us here sharing this time and spending this time with which we could actually be spending in any, any other way. And we are all lovingly here wanting to ground things and, and make things happen. And I believe it's all about shared agreements. It's all about believing in, in what is the one thing that we are doing. And after spending the last months with you, David, and I absolutely believe in what you're doing to be amazing. That's why I spent so much time with you. I, I came to the conclusion after talking also with, with Michael Papayakobos from Consorcio that, that it needs to start from a governance system. Actually, the governance needs to be on the foundation of it. Otherwise, like is, I would say it's the social layer actually that comes first at least as a shared agreement among the, the players involved. And that's when the technology actually can manifest because otherwise we're just inverting. We are social beings and when social beings are getting along and understand what everyone intention is and what are, then boom, things can translate into a, an expression of ourselves with each the technology. And that is why I'm finally, I believe understanding that that the governance system and the foundational agreements need to be set in the very beginning. And I wonder and I, whether what Raymond has is actually something, he claims that he's, that is actually what, what will accelerate and enable a shared foundational agreement among all these players. And he said that he's willing to be part of the call tomorrow with Threefold to, to discuss this. Uh, and again, I would, insist that such a co the coherence aspect of a new value exchange of a token based on, on coherence, I would say is the one thing that makes what we're doing global enough, which is it's another way of saying a, a love. It's a way of, of infusing love into the technological sphere and, and and service, we are, we're talking about when you're acting in service, reducing the entropy, bringing coherence, is there something else that we humans do than just love one another and, and want to express ourselves in service to the whole? If we could tag this or implement this into the technology, which I believe is the karma of all of us, how much we've loved and how much we haven't loved, and represent this into the technical or virtual aspect of ourselves, which is our avatar, as, mo as you were saying, David. I wonder whether we, we are finally getting into it. A love token, which is based on coherence, which is the karma aspect of our, all of our actions, connected with our digital representation of us, which is our avatar, which is our all single sign on across all the technical sphere. But all of it agreed upon a foundational agreement. And, 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 and it looks like protocol.love is perfect for that. It's, it's designed for Holochain. It's based on vulnerable transparency. You're all about vulnerable transparency, David. All of us, I believe, believe in that principle. And it's about, yeah, like organization, a, a governance protocol for organizing ourselves. And he says he has the documents and the processes to guide us into that. I would, I would want all of us to explore such an intention. And we have the window to do so magically tomorrow at 3 p.m. CET. 
So he's willing to be there. And I would invite all of us to consider whether we want to be on that call as well. Uh, yeah, that's my invitation. Thank you, Lumi. Um, Love you, we, we shared the um, pillars of ethics earlier, and I don't know if you've read through them. There's a link in the message here. We've worked with Raymond in the past on foundational documentation. And uh, it's, it's a good step in the right direction. And so that's good to hear that he's getting involved more tactfully. Um, mm -hmm. Also, you know, just want to bring it back though to the, the ethical policies and procedure because we're, we do want to all be expressing out of love and the idea is that not everybody out there knows what that means yeah so as an organization when we present to others from that place of our heart chakra they're not always going to understand it that way because they have to think in terms of making their bills paid and and getting their personal needs met right now but when we talk about ethics and how you know this this love expression that we're all in agreement with treating others as you want to be treated it is a currency and it is a currency through the 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 actions, the, the ethics and the actions there within. And we want to make sure that, you know, everybody can recognize what that means on a base level. And so um, uh, if you haven't read it yet, please do. And we encourage everyone to add their, you know, what they feel, what they think comments are appreciated. The, I was talking about living documentation. Living documentation means, and as it says on the pillars of ethics, we being of living sound mind and body are in, engaging in this agreement in the pillars of ethics. It's because a lot of documentation you see out there, even the constitution of the United States is it, it, it's not something that can be changed based on what's now learned as opposed to what was known back when it was created. If we can do that with the, with the, the maintaining that spirit of intent to do no harm and treat others as we want to be treated, then any transformations, changes, and mm -hmm anything like that to these documents is an improvement. That, that's, that's where we can all live and build upon, I believe. So that, that's what I wanted to just bring back here in this conversation. And we do want that link, Lumi, when you do have it for the meeting tomorrow, absolutely. Thank you. Well, they will send it uh, a couple of minutes before they tell me. Okay. I will share in the group. Okay. Um, I, I kind of wanted to go back to something that Lumi um, and David were discussing about the technology and the human aspect. And I just like to throw it out there. Um, I was uh, sitting and doing some side wiki writing uh, yesterday, and um, kind of on a tangent, um, I started writing about the singularity, and the singularity being the technological singularity, what everybody knows, and then I went to the um, metaphysical and the uh, spiritual singularity, and what that could be, and maybe it is something that isn't really separated is it the technology or is it the human? Uh, could it be that through the human will reach uh, the technological singularity and vice versa? Could it be this inner exchange where it goes hand in hand and could both be just as um, necessary with maybe the foundation, of course, being the human um, 
basic ethical love-based interaction. Just a simple uh, kind of non sequitur that might give a, uh, you know, a feeling to everybody that it's not uh, one perspective uh, is better or another just means nothing. It's which step do we take so we can have all of this all together? Yes, absolutely. And, and another piece we can look at here, you talking about the singularity is that right now, any technology that's advanced technology, advanced intelligence, AI, um, augmented intelligence is still being proprietary, a lot of it. And there is an open AI out there that we actually can be involved in and, and start adding code to. And it would be great if we can come up with code that's <clears throat> going to give an AI the opportunity to not just think right-brained or, you know, left-brained. Actually, I think it's left. That's the right. I'm ambidextrous. No, so, right <laughs> I might get a little confused here. But, um, you know, just we don't think that it, it should be limited but, and through our engagement and interaction and community and cooperative and co-creation here, that we can insert that other side. Thank you. So right brain. So we're, we're here as the right brain inserting <laughs> into an AI that's only thinking left brain. Let's, let's see how that could mesh and that singularity actually have an empathic component to it that then just becomes viral, not just in technology, but in humanity. You know, that empathy, that love, that compassion, that consideration. And, and by working together, how that can become so powerful to, to have that component available for people and technology to advance together. I think that, that that's really nice to know that we're not the only ones looking at that. Thanks, Lua. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree. That's gonna go hand in hand. So I think that um, we have a lot ahead of us, but I believe as well was saying, let's, let's try to pick a mission here before we end this meeting today, that we can all come back to it with throughout the week and communicate and, and see if we can accomplish this. So what are some thoughts out there as far as a mission that, that everybody's being drawn to? I'd like to know. I'd personally just start with um, uh, to getting the four, those four parameters, the needs, resources, visions, and uh, if everybody puts the right stones down for their personal, and it could be from two perspectives. It could be from the perspective of the thing that you're doing, and it could be this, from the perspective of you as a person. So because you, you, your organization may have different resources to you as a person that can, you know, what you can offer. So um, maybe we can do two of those things. We can do a personal vision for what we want to see the future being, and then another vision for what our, our particular project is wanting to see because those are probably they, those could be two different or have differing things in them um yeah and then if so, so that's, that's those two sets the four parameters from what your project is uh, or projects are um to who you are and what you you can give and then we can bring all of that information together and start looking at this putting it onto an air table or how it could look in a visual or how it could be used in um the Miro um uh, the Miro diagram that Bart created, uh, I would say that would probably be a good start. Sweet. And, and so this would be something, where are we going to all be able to put this data? Like, where's the data dump point? <laughs> well, we, we, we might as well put it straight into an Airtable. Um, so uh, let's, let's just all collect it. It'll only take a minute to, to like a few minutes to make an air table that won't be a problem um i don't i don't have, did you need to have a you don't need to have a membership to make make an air, make an air table do you you gotta log into 
free. You you got to have a login. Yeah, yeah. yeah you got to have a login. You don't need to actually have to. Yeah, it's 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 free. I think you can create basic ones for free as well. So um, we could always do that. And then I'll speak with Andrea about the air table that she made, just so we could kind of see what because it, it's a it's a bit of a different perspective. So. Um, right. whether whether the, whether the, these bits of information can both be used together but it's it's probably a good idea that they're they're kind of separate at the moment because they're doing we're using them for slightly two different things at the moment so it's it's i, I, th- I think right now it's okay to do a little bit of double work here and there um just because just so we can see like how different things work and what different things look like in um, in different applications even like the new map thing that um, i was involved with with andrea brett chris and uh, David was uh, at one point it, it, even mapping it out in a basic version of that just to see what it looks like in a holonic format. It's like you know, it's, it's, a, it's a holonic mapping tool. So and to, to see how we how we interact with different different styles of of, of data data visualization would be good um, at this time because we can really just test a few things out to see what we want to put into the things that we actually create in the future. Is right. everybody in the same Telegram <clears throat> chat room? uh i believe so yes i think so so that's the open world no, alliance. Are, you, are you in the uh, lou, are you, lou are you in the open world alliance i am but right. i don't think Rael, and i'm not sure about uh if michael getting it is no i'm not uh, okay so we well, yeah, um I, th- I think you're able to invite them or i can i'll, I'll see if i can invite them over um and via uh, maybe Wael, I'm sorry, I pronounced it wrong. It's Wael, Wael. and I have the the German pronunciation and I keep saying it wrong. And he's told me so many times and I keep doing it. Wael. (laughs) We all have different accents, it's fine. Wael is very sure I should have said it. I should have said it correctly. I heard it was. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll maybe we can just uh, exchange details. Everyone knows somebody for like between someone, so we can we can get them onto onto the group. If not, so. What's your availability like, Kashan? I'd like to get together with you um, and, and try to start actually working on this stuff together. Yeah, um, pretty available. It's a bit random at the moment because I'm looking after nine animals in my room who are about to. We we're going to be made homeless so i'm kind of like a little bit all over the place having to look look after them like at random times of the day um but mo- mostly free uh, i'm just having a problem with my internet as well so i'm having to come down to another building to do that so i just need to know with a little bit of time just to be able to go down there and have a bit of quiet time down, totally down, reasonable. down there. We, we've been trying yeah. to get some stuff uploaded over to Airtable. we've been it seems like we're having a handshake communication issue between like google sheets and yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. So I'll have a go. Know. I'll have a go at it. I, I haven't. Okay. I haven't been doing that, but I'll have a go and see whether I have any problems with it, and and, and then go from there. And as I said, like th- this is an easy air table to make. It's not complicated. So um, okay, and it'll pro- it probably feeds into what I wanted to make with the uh, state of affairs map and the um, the thing that Bart's doing. So it, it would it would have it would have benefit for both of those visuals visualizations as well. So if we can get an a Airtable map or diagram set up today, uh, I want to make sure we have email addresses for everyone because we'll send you that link to make sure that everybody has access to that. And that way we can start collabing there. Yeah, and you can put the link. You can put the link in the Telegram, and and you can click on if you click on the actual title of the group, it sends you to the bit where you can look at all the media and the links, so it's easy to find. Um, so, say again. Okay, cool. Awesome. Yeah, cool. Great. Yeah. All right then. Well, great. Lovely to speak to everybody. Um, I'm gonna have to get going now. Uh, but I'll, I'll, I'll. If you have any problems getting anybody into the Telegram group, send me the, Just send me a message with their name in it. And I'll add them, and then uh, yeah, maybe we talk in a few days. Oh, actually, what's the date now? We're getting into New Year's New Year's it's Eve territory, the aren't we? Twenty eighth <laughs> today, so we've got four days until the first of January. So let's so let's have a chat before before New Year's. Um, say maybe on like the thirtieth or something. Yeah. For an individual meeting, he wanted to know if yeah. he could meet with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we could do that. We could do, yeah, we could do that maybe tomorrow or the day after if you want. That's fine. Just 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 let okay. me know. 
And then yeah. I would like to just try to see if we can all agree what would be a good day for everyone to do a review and see what the next mission is that we can accomplish together. Probably <laughs> say just after, just after New Year's, maybe. Maybe I'm just sorry? after New Year's. And then, yeah. yeah. So next, maybe next Monday? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, the second or third or something. Okay. What? How Give about everyone, everyone else? Wind down. Right? <laughs> Give you a couple of days after New Year's <laughs> celebration. <Yeah. laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm I'm in I'm in London by the way for time straight Jim Tito. Have you been able to hook up with David yet? Even? Yeah, if, like a, 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 a while back, but because of the lockdown, we haven't been doing, no one's been going anywhere, mate. <laughs> no one's been traveling anywhere. Now we're in tier four. I'm sure there's going to be a tier five at some point where the, everyone just has to stay in their toilets or something. Right? Yeah, T tier six, tier six, I can't breathe, and tier seven, <laughs> done to your head. I'm waiting for that one. <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> well, thank you all for being here today. You are a bright and shining star. You are a hero. And when we heroes come together, we can do anything. And we will be making amazing accomplishments together. And for <clears throat> those who were unable to join today's meeting, so we're, we're scheduling another meeting next Monday, that's January 3rd, I believe, or 4th, um, and we want, we want everybody to join in. We want to get this rolling. We want to talk about meshing and working together so that we can make this dream a reality. We all see it, the vision, the yeah. dream, it's beautiful, and we can do this when we work together. Thank yeah. you. Guys, can I, can I yeah, ask, go uh, ahead. would it be possible for us to meet on Sunday by any chance? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Sunday is fine. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, because of school starting uh, on Monday. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, uh, weekends fine. are really much better. Yeah. Okay. And I, I have a wish, maybe, uh, uh, if we can have more writing work than talking work, it will, I mean, yeah, I, I would, I really would love that. Uh, and that's so if we work in a document yes. uh, with questions yes. of a stump or whatever you want to call it, just to work in, in writing and and everyone then is, is involved and seeing what the other doing. And yeah, I'm waiting for long for such kind of collaboration in, 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 in text because uh, talking is very overwhelming uh, for me. And I, yeah. Think about it. Absolutely, we can definitely do, we can definitely do more of that for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, um, maybe I would still love to hear everyone's uh, mission. I think we kind of were in the middle of uh, everyone also still kind of trying to capture what they uh, for today's meeting figured the mission for this collective can be. I think that can then be something we can all write about. <laughs> Well, um, our idea of the mission here is to connect and mesh, connect and mesh, yeah. because uh, we're, we're all doing our separate projects out there. And the more that we're able to connect those projects together, even virtually, the more resources then can be distributed throughout the whole network. So let's set the goal for our next upcoming meeting or the one after that to do actual co-working meetings where we're stream sharing and we're checking in the documents and we're running errands like someone's acting as a gopher. Okay, go for this information, grab the link, Unless pull it back it. in while we're having the conversation and filling out the uh, like the headers and columns in the spreadsheet and confirming that within each of the sections, say in the document, we pull them in, in into the tabular and object-oriented format. So That's they're properly really labeled good. with the IDs, the tags, the decorator elements, uh, at, as elements and everything like that. I'm not a coder, but that is in my mind on the forefront 
that we need to do with our documentation so they all can converge in the proper correlation, as well as having the proper function and ability within the software. So it's, it, it's actually compatible. We're bringing it from text to compatibility within the software and the tools of the software, and not just whether it's restricted to Airtable or Kumu or My Miro, but along the lines of the common language formats required with the uh, coding language for the databasing. So that, that's, yeah, that's, that's exactly why that, I've been that, pushing that, hard. That, on the federated that, that's the exact conversation yeah we had the, we had this right. exact conversation with the, the air table that we did the other day so so, so right. that so that, that can be something that can that can be talked about in conjunction with that conversation as well so it's all all flowing with the same one so we that, um we i don't know when they've got another meeting with the with the a coder who was going to, who was talking about creating that and saying how that how that how that would be and could be done so mm -hmm. um so we've got somebody that's technically knowledgeable uh, to, to figure that out. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, like, like it's from, from our interactions with everybody here, like with David, yeah. for example, doing the, the Oasis API, I know for a fact that that is going to be a requirement for him in order to move forward. And something I know for a fact without even asking him directly right now that he's been waiting forever for. It. Right. He, he may not have been able to convey it in a way that others yeah. have been able to understand but i think at this point where we all are all right now yeah is that correct david uh yeah also oh, i'm still oh yeah i thought it's muted so i'm kind of like just, just just kind of half coding half eating half listening so i'm trying to <laughs> I, 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 I heard my name I heard my name mentioned and so I, I'm, I struggle to follow like sometimes because it's just the, 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 the technical areas when I, my ears prick up kind of thing. But when I, yeah. Um, yeah. What you're saying about, 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 about explaining, trying to explain like what how I've been banging on about for the last eight years. Yeah. yeah I'm right. Trying to translate. I need, I, I need translators basically. I need people to try and translate what's in my head to the rest of the world can understand. That's why yeah. people can't supporting me because they just don't understand what I'm doing. So if there's a way to what. translate, I'd be very grateful. Thanks. <laughs> Tell you what, David, uh, if you want to jumpstart, if you feel like your wheels are spinning today and you need to be active, would you please take a look at some of the spreadsheets and stuff that we, we've already shared? It's got a bunch of everybody's different information in there and see how you can arrange that to IDs, tags, and decorators at a bare minimum for the header columns. So we can at least start on that roadmap for this data being compatible with the Oasis API and Kumu, because I know it uses those, uh, that, that format specifically for the requirements in the headers in order to specify where in the mind map things are. It's basically it's function and ranking system. Can you write down uh, somewhere uh, so that we can complete the information together. And I share the document or you can create a document so that we are prepared for the next meeting. And uh, we see, yeah, th these fractals and we contribute in creating them. David probably already has a data type for that, I bet. Right. Yeah, whatever you have, that we, we, have, uh, we have it uh, in front of us. I'm looking for it right now. Okay. Um, Michael, would you see what you could do on that too? Yeah, maybe send it uh, when we are on the Telegram group to send the document there. Um, I am dropping now. I want to say goodbye. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, send it on, yeah. on Telegram group because, um, um, yeah, I'll yeah. Then. This is my, 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 my food's going cold and I, I want to <laughs> I'm kind of a bit, a bit distracted. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get get going as well. I've got to get out to the, the animals. Uh, thanks, thank, thank you. All. It, was, it was lovely to meet. It was lovely to meet all of you. I'll speak. Um, I'll speak to who we need to speak to in the, over the next couple of days, and we'll start getting all that information together. Um, 
It was really lovely to meet you all. Uh, those who haven't met yeah. before. <laughs> and, and, and I'll see you again, Kish. See you later, later. <laughs> see you later David. Uh, good luck with the animals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of them, trust me. <laughs> where, where, where are you living now? In, in, in the London Zoo, is that you moved into or something? <laughs> uh, the sort of, there's, there's nine of them up there. There's eight, eight kittens and a, and a Frenchie dog. Oh. Um, in a in a four, in a fourteen by fourteen square foot fucking room. <laughs> That's not so fun. You, you, can't, right, well, you can't let kids go out onto a cold London street. So uh, yeah, I had to save them. Anyway, we'll I'll see you all yeah. soon. Yeah. Thank you. Cool man. See yeah, you later. We'll see you later. Yes, see. You. So, uh, Ithira and me, do we meet on Sunday same time? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. Same time, Sundays, so that's uh, 9 a.m. Pacific time. What time is it over there in Germany? In Germany, that's 6 p.m. In the UK, that's 5 p.m. Okay, so <clears throat> now, we have, now we have a range here. <laughs> that, I remember that works well for David. Yeah. You, you start but, getting burnt a bit about 7 o'clock, right, David? Um, oh, yeah, because um, normally I... In time for the midday, like UK time almost good because um, I'm still trying to sort my sleep out. I'm, I'm really want to just be, I, I just want to go to bed like everyone else and, and fall asleep and then wake up like at seven o'clock, like fully refreshed and like get out of bed and get loads of work done. But that just doesn't doesn't seem to happen anymore. So that's another little thing on, on the side that like, if anyone in like social circles can help like fix my health and sleep, that'd be great because I'm right now I'm running, I'm running about 10% of my capacity. It's been really, that's another thing that's been really sucky. I get like two two hours of work done a day. And I'd love to be increase that. That's going to really help get things moving. <laughs> we're doing what we can to help out. It, you know, some, some, some magic wands or something. If I've got some magic games. spell or something, I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> hopefully this meeting was, was a bit more comfortable for you guys than some of the others you've had some frustrations with. We want you guys to be comfortable and... Uh, feel worthy yeah, I, I just want to say you know, like, like you um, have something to bring to the table and you do yeah because I, I think like um the only thing i was going to say is like um just quickly because like, go like, like um I like what's in, in the calls it's like um I, lo I love you guys and everything but i just um i basically last few months i, I haven't got any coding and development because i spent all this time on, on calls and, and networking and doing the blogs and the videos and 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 i really and Eunice has been telling me build 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 and i just felt I feel trapped. I feel like torn, like torn in like hundred directions at once. And now I really just got now you've got you got a code now. So, so I've got to really be careful what calls go on. And and, and I, I love you guys are talking to me, but but this call this one didn't feel like a, it was really I need to be on this one because it's like my it's technical. I, I trust what you guys come up with. I'll just follow whatever you wherever you, wherever you need to put, insert my bit into a box somewhere on a spreadsheet. I do, but um, but the, what what you're talking about is that um, normally if, if I had like you know, clone or tongues of time, then I'd love to be involved in it, but it's not really my speciality. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not my gift, you know, that's for your guys, that's your, your area, my area is the technical stuff. So like, if there's a way like um, a filtering, I don't know, I need some, I need like a PR basically, just to help, the PA me to help filter the calls. Cause I, cause I, cause I, I, I love, this is more like moral support for me, just nice talking to people, but 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 now what I really need to do is get stuck into the coding, like, and and um, um and that's why like now I'm kind of trying to, pull back a bit now you know i'm trying to pull back but, but i still want to be engaged like in, on calls i need to be on but i just, I just, don't, I just don't want to be on calls where i don't really have any input because it's just a massive waste of my time i really gotta like like so i've only got two three hours of, of work time a day and if i just spend it on a call then like today i've got nothing done again because i'm like yeah. there's nothing it's like, like this call and i say just just a general point that's what i'm trying to say on a rainbow bridge thing i don't even check that it's only because universe like accidentally maybe click on it like it popped up like a messenger annoying annoying in facebook in your face all the time and i was trying to do something else and it i clicked on it and then i was like sourcing about that like, unity consciousness and it's like, oh right okay you know you know how banging on about unity consciousness it's important to be a team and um the, the lovely um lady I've forgotten the name now sorry i'm really good not good at names was saying the same thing about getting out of silos and what we all want really and i said like, oh, okay um so like that's why i'm here and i just yeah, I don't know. I think it's going to go in a new age and a new new energy now. Like that's my mate's a new hope kind of thing because I've just got a bit like disillusioned, you know, kind of thing. Like I just felt I wasted four years building the blogs and websites and videos, and it's so long trying to to explain the vision. And Chris Chris Larkham done the right thing. I should have just focused on building the prototype. That we've done by now. All the energy and time wasted to explaining it to people who didn't just didn't understand it. I could have built it and showed it by now. And I'm, that's not the reason I struggle with depression and stuff. Like I just feel like. 
wasting my time trying to breed a bridge. I tried to bridge 5D to 3D and it just wasn't ready yet. And I've just, and I now really don't want to look, keep wasting my time trying to explain something to people that aren't going to explain, whereas I'm better off just building it and showing it to people now. Like, that's why I, I feel I'm behind schedule. But just to express where I'm at, basically, personally, just so you know, just so I'm, so I'm really oh, careful. Great, David. So, so, you got to go you guys, like, 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 yeah, so just, so, just, so, just, so just let me know where, where you feel I'm, I'm, it's really important for you to be on. Well, otherwise, I'll, I'll just wait until you let, just let me know. I don't want to be on a regular call. I just want to be like, like when it's like, right, this is like technical and now we need your input, David, kind of thing. That's when I want to show up. Does that make sense? Rather than just awesome. being, yeah. being on it for the sake of bit. That's what I'm trying to say. Got, it makes sense what I'm trying to say because we've really got to build now. I've got, I've got to get it done because the universe is just keeps saying you've got to build. They're telling me for months, build, build, build. And like, how can I build when I'm doing these calls? And I was like, ah, I'm screaming at them going, well, I can't do it all at the same time. So now I'm like, right, now I've got to really build. <laughs> I think sense. there are a lot of people that are being pushed to build. And when we get our downloads, I've been getting downloads since I was 11 years old. When we get our downloads, is it sometimes so much information that's coming in, and we're only able to use the tools that we have, and and that's where we become overwhelmed because you know there there are more tools out there that we don't have, and and we know others do, but we don't know who they are. So this the process here is to make it more transparent. So that people are able to say, oh, I see that person's got a download, that person's got it. These are all keys to the new system. And if we can all combine our keys together, then the system basically writes itself. Hmm. <laughs> this was a bit spur of the moment, yet very important that uh, everybody join. It was a much larger group meeting than we were really expecting um which is the, great the, the primary basis <laughs> like that's we were why talking about that, was that, that's why that's why that, on the same page yeah that's, that's why i showed up because I, I respect for you guys i love you guys and have a good connection and for maybe because you're the superman logo in the background maybe that that, 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 that tema just me i'm a bit as well I got a tiny I got, Superman. Where did he go? <laughs> that's why. That's, that's why. I like um. But like I said, so, so if, I don't know. If you, I, so I trust you guys. So if, if you could like kind of act a bit like not not a PA, but I just need people to help, help screen my calls, kind of thing. Like you know, just 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 like just just like oh, thank you. Just just like just just let me know like 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 what, what, what ones I'm really needed on because because um that's why I'm depressed because I'm coded that's why I, when, when I program I don't feel depressed anymore I feel like I'm, I'm in flow and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm channeling then because I've got all this creativity that's bottles up inside me and I've got to let it flow out of me and when I'm doing calls and blogging and videos it's not it's not hitting us it's, it's not I'm not, not I'm not I'm not that I'm not doing what I'm meant to do be doing you know I'm meant to be building I'm not meant to be but I'm a bit of both but but I'm out of balance now I've, I've done too much of networking and not enough building and now i've got a really just about it so, oh, so it's funny, difficult so, so, i'm the so. opposite i'm the opposite okay. i have i have coding homework and every time i have to sit down and do hours of that i get so depressed and angry because i just don't get it and it's like it takes freaking forever for me to make a little baby step it's like i just want to be talking or reading or making some art or doing something where i can actually be in flow or moving but i gotta sit down and go to 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 and i'm sure that doesn't that doesn't happen with you because you're just thinking in a much quicker way when you're coding but for me oh my god uh, every time i have to code it's like Oh, I, I get pretty depressed. I get pretty angry as well. <laughs> I, I, that's, why, that's why I have to swap. That's why I said it's important we'll come together because we've got our different gifts and a, someone's gift is someone else's weakness. And that's why it's beautiful how we exactly. come together. Like, like, I, I'm, I, I can code anything. I literally can code any. That's my gift. I can literally build things that make Amazon and Microsoft like, like not even understand what the hell hit them. That's, what, that's our mission, me and Chris and the rest of us. We, we can build things that are like... Literally, from, we're building galactic technology. We, we're challenging stuff from the future, like like a higher dimensional. You can imagine the stuff we're building. It's, it's well, way beyond what Silicon Valley can even dream of, and that's that's my passion. But I can't sell it, and I can't explain it, and I can't get funding for it, and I can't I can't do anything else other than the coding. Like I tried like miserably on my own for eight years, and I do. I wasn't by choice. I wanted to be part of a team. I so badly wanted to get help, but no one understood the crazy madman. So like no one helped me, and that's where you guys come in. Like like if you can just somehow. That's why I love Lumi because Lumi was the first one who got it. Like, he's the first one because 
because you've got to get a download. So you can't really understand it through my words, but you have to like see it. You have to like tap into that higher dimensional download that information. You have to get like, that packet. Yeah, makes sense. You have to get like a psychic. I don't know how it works, but but I need some way of getting everyone else to understand it. We need to get it grounded somehow and into words and diagrams and video, whatever it takes to to, to make people understand how critical it is because it's what's going to bring us together. And that's why it's been so frustrating. And that's why I realized I just got to build it now because I, I started so annoyed. Like all this time, I, I, all these 44 years, I could have finished the prototype. <laughs> but I, I realized it was so big that I needed help to build it. And I tried to get a team and funding. And, and I thought, well, doing a website and blogs was a way to do that. But now I realize that, that I, if, I, if I could have seen that like, no one would have bothered, like, well, not bothering, but, but understanding it, I would have just carried on coding. I stopped coding to do all that, and I should have just carried on coding. <laughs> oh, well, maybe, you learn, eh? Maybe, or maybe not, uh, David, right? Because you just mentioned that um, you have a hard time expressing it or communicating it. So maybe if you're just coding, how are, is anyone going to help? Uh, but maybe if, like, in the threefold um, conversation tomorrow, people like me start understanding things, then we can explain it in a simple way because that's the only way I can explain it, right? Then mm -hmm. everybody else that is not so super smart can get it too and can be like, oh, that's super cool, we get it. Not, right. oh, that's super complicated. We don't get what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. It has to be broken yeah. down to like ABC <clears throat> level so that everyone else can get it. Because I'm not, I'm not sure you see, see, see my website and, and the GitHub page, there's some technical things, but other bits, like I, I thought it's quite high level kind of stuff. And, and it's, a, it's just like, it's a new internet, basically. That, that's the way it's describing it. It's like a structure layer of the whole internet. It's, it's like the, the, the backbone, it's a racist. You know, that's why I love the film Ready Player One. Like, that's why Lumi loved it so much. So that, that is the closest thing. When I saw that book, read the book, and then what's the film? I said, that's the closest thing I, I had in my vision. That is what our world is. That is, that's the VR, that's the UI, the user interface of it. But to enable that, enable that multiverse where everything is in it, you need to build a backbone architecture. And that's what I've been building. That's the prototype I'm working on. And that's what you call the Oasis API, hence the name. Because it's, it's the thing that connects everything to everything. It's the, it's, it's the new internet. It's the backbone of the new internet. It's the way that allows everything not to be in silos so we can get out of all these silos and all these different systems. So again, all fully talking to each other. So if it's one fully immersive integrated system, and then you can build the user interface, which is ready, which is the ready to play one. There are our, our world, which is just one part of it. And that's that's what connects us all the different VR environments together. I think that's the most easy way I can explain it really. Does that make sense? That, 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 that's like the watered down version of it. And like, and that's why I just keep saying like we just I just need to get people to try and, try and help because it's crazy. Because the bit I don't know why the universe tests me. That's the Superman, Superman journey. It's like 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 they gave one man. The biggest pit, like like the most complicated bit, like this massive thing. Yeah, that, but that's what's going to inspire and empower everyone because, like, I somehow I built this prototype and done all this. I didn't give up through all the health problems and all the challenges and everything I've been through, and I, and like I kept going, kind of thing. But probably similar to all of us, we're all like we're all superheroes. But 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 it's a kind of like, but like I know my higher self chose this for incarnate, can't incarnated. But like me, David Ellums, I never chose that. Like now, as a my human ego will be like, no freaking way, I want to do it on my own. I want, I want, I want everyone to help me. Like, but, but somehow, before I came down here, it was decided that my my blueprint was to um was to do it like this because it's going to inspire people more about not giving up on their dreams. And it's not about the technology. My my story is more about who I am and what I endured and what I went through and and and, and how I didn't give up and how I kept going for everything for all the abuse and. All the all the things I've been through, I've been through everything, and like it's just to show that out of that, this oasis still came out of that somehow. And then like if, if, it shows that, that that if anyone can do it, kind of thing, show people what autism can do. It's many. I get why it's like this, but sometimes I, in a, in a positive state of mind, I see it. But but, in, but when another depth mode, I'm like really depressed and angry <laughs> at the universe. I'm like, for God's sake, this is ridiculous. I'm just like, it's a joke. It's like, like, what do you want me to do with nothing? Like, you're giving me shit, and you want to build. Build, build a new internet out of mud. <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> oh, fine, I'll just keep trying. And then, yeah, can't give up. But, I, but now in, anyway, now we're in a new, new age. So that's what gives me hope. We're in a new golden age now. So I'm waiting to see that turns up. And in the meantime, I've got to stay alive. Like I said, I ran out of money. But I know it does it on purpose. I get triggered, like, buy some food. Like, I've got, and then the car gets declined. And I've got to like, start taking stuff back. And it's just like depressing, you know, and everyone's looking at you, judging. And I know I got putting me judging myself, and I'm just like, 
they're getting angry at the universe again like you say oh, i'm supported i can't even buy my groceries and it's just like I, my yeah. annual asking for my rent is three weeks behind i'm just like i think we're all just you know probably how i feel kind of thing and like, i want to live in a van that you guys you know rent now at least that's one problem yeah. solved it's like you know it's just like and it's just so ridiculous and we're trying to like like build like this new internet and, and like, like like out of sticks and mud and then you've got like silicon valley with billions like wasted like oh, it's just like oh it's just like banging your head against the wall you're like what the hell is wrong with this world and you're just like, well, it's going to get started soon because, like, God's going to show, like, it doesn't value our, our work, it doesn't value like what we're doing, and it's going to give us more than like four p's a week to live on, and and like more than like a little, I don't know, a tent to live in <laughs> in the middle of a field or whatever, in the middle of a window or homeless cardboard box, like, yeah. So I don't know. I just, I, can you relate to what I'm saying? Like, I just want the universe to finally. Step up, like, uh, I, 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 and, and just just show like keep, like it's saying the grateful and, like show it please and like 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 it's enough it's enough now we're going to new age i think it's finally time we get what we, we deserve we've got enough good karma and it's start time we get the support we need, need to start our mission because we, we haven't started our mission yet i'm just like we're just playing around in, in like 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 just just treading water right now we haven't actually begun the mission yet i haven't even we haven't got started yet so right now mm -hmm. we're in a new age I, I, i'm hoping the new year it's going to turn around because I said, like, I said to him, if you don't do it, I'm checking out. I'm, I'm gone. I'm like, <laughs> don't give me what to do my mission. We've been yeah. at Chrysalis uh, for quite some time. The Chrysalis <laughs> is about to open and the beautiful butterfly will come out. Um, I wrote a book called In Praise of Butterflies in 2007, which was my own experience. And we all have these amazing, challenging, uh, frustrating uh, sometimes like ready to just die depression type scenarios and you know diamonds are made under extreme pressure and we have been all under an extreme amount of pressure but we took on this challenge whether or not we agree on our ego side when we came to this <laughs> planet, we took this challenge on we said all right we're coming back we're gonna deal with the the, the dirt and the muck mm -hmm. and we are going to create those diamonds out of that dirt and muck and so mm -hmm. I, I see that beginning to happen you may feel David that you haven't really been playing but you have you've been <laughs> playing doing and sometimes playing is not fun sometimes playing is like when you go through that maze and you find yourself keep you keep on ending up at walls where there is no clear path to the other side of that maze but it is our resilience and our ability to turn right back around and say all right that's a wall that I don't turn that way next time and I'm going to keep on going until I find that direction that takes me where I want to be and I think that we're getting closer to our goal now and the more that we have these constructive work meetings and absolutely David you will be notified when we're getting into scrum work meetings and having things written out and like um uh, I'm sorry um, good night, good day, <laughs> good afternoon. But everybody here, you know, we're, we want yeah. you to be involved in these work meetings. We want others to come in and, and join in these work meetings so we can actually get things down on paper, get some things actually moving around and working together because it is what we do together in our cooperative, collaborative workspaces that shows proof of concept right there. That's a proof of concept when we can all do that together. And that then, of course, opens all of those doorways, financial um, research, databasing, and so forth. And, and so let's keep this conversation going. And yes, Happy New Year. If we, we don't hear from you or talk to you before the change of the year, I want to wish you all a Happy New Year. And let's connect. Let's keep working on this together. Thank you. I, 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 we, we haven't like um, failed. I guess I feel, I feel like I, I failed. Like 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 I was meant to be. I always feel like I'm behind schedule. Like like it's meant to be there by now. And like the 
the solstice and everything else. I think it was when we went to the, had an event and everything's challenging all and it didn't happen. And, and I just feel like I put too much pressure on myself. I feel I feel I've got this, this core piece and I'm like, like, and I'm like, but at the same time, I did the best I could. Like, like I think I was meant to get more help, but like it didn't come. So then, of course, everything's behind schedule now. And I just, just got to trust that the world's not going to turn to shit and that, and that we are on a good timeline now. And, that, and that we haven't failed or I, have, I, I feel so much pressure and so much responsibility and I just got kind of so much weight of, of the world on my shoulders and I just I, I've got to try and, to learn to like to dispute that more and that just trust that I haven't failed and let, let the team down because sometimes I feel like I've failed and I've but like we're haven't, here now to I've help each other. Now. Hmm? David but we're here now to help each other that's why uh, Lyra and Nate have created you know uh, this 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 group for for us to do just this that's what they've been working on <laughs> for years just like you've been working on the new internet so this is why we're here because we're gonna fill each other's gaps but for to do this we've got to learn how to work together yeah yep yeah. what's the playground going to be that we can all play in together <clears throat> and I, and I, 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 explore Go ahead, Dana. And you feel like, and you, you feel we're still on a good timeline then? Like, like I just feel like, I, I thought we had till this date to like do all this stuff. And now my mum's been being, being injected with these vaccines and, and all this stuff. And I'm worried about all this stuff. I know it's fear based, but, but like, I just thought the quantum sort of flash was supposed to happen. And, and I feel like because of this stuff wasn't ready in time, the integration wasn't happening in time. And now we're going to go down a darker timeline. And that means that my mum and my family and are going to get injected. My daughter's going to get injected with this crappy vaccine and all these things. So I'm sorry, like, I know this stuff kind of, we've probably got stuff. Like, I'm just like, do you know what I mean? Like, and I've got to trust the universe has a backup plan. Like, like, like it's not going to allow this, this stuff to happen kind of thing. And I just, there is a backup I mean? I plan. Like, yeah. Part of it, I think, is time is not the same for everyone. Everyone is on a different timeline. Time has a funny way of getting in the way. And then it also has a funny way of getting out of the way. I think that we should not be putting a time expectation factor on this. As far as for those of you who are being forced to be vaccinated, my recommendation is mushrooms and curcumin turmeric. You will be in a lot better place um, and it, it will cleanse out the liver and kidneys. So whatever toxins are being put in with those injections can be cleansed out as quickly as possible. Um, mushrooms. mushrooms and curcumin turmeric, which is a Tumor type of yeah. turmeric that has been developed by a scientist and doctor who found the, the properties in turmeric help cleansing your kidneys, your liver. They can help with, um, if you have um, anemia, they can help. If you're, you have depression, it helps with mood disorders as well. A lot of people are having um, allergic reactions to the GMO products that are out there. And yeah. cucumin turmeric has been known to mitigate a lot of the toxins out of the body when you take it on a regular basis. Now, if you have thin blood, it's not a good idea to take it because um, it thins the blood. So that's one cautionary uh, point that I would like to make. There are some other um, herbs out there that I can recommend you look into, like the reishi mushroom, which is good for cleansing the kidneys and liver. Um, mushrooms on a whole are really good for you. Um, it's even with radiation poisoning, eat more mushrooms. If you are in a higher radiation zone, you want to eat more mushrooms and that will help. Um, there's uh, some others that I, I can't remember the names of right now, but um, look for local herbs, uh, local honey, those kinds of things. They really do have a positive impact. Echinacea, always a good thing to have on hand during the winter's time and elderberry uh also very good for cold flu season but, so. but this, this, is, this is for my mom though because that's the problem is that my mom and my dad they're so in the system so like they, they think it's good for them so i can't tell them to take mushrooms they don't listen to me and that's, that's what's so hard and like i've got to watch them feed the, just feed it to them say so here's here's a cream of mushroom soup i made for you <laughs> oh wait just just yeah. like going 
Because they live two hours away, but I could like, I don't know, just try and convince them to, 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 to try out a new recipe or something. Try out a new recipe, I, exactly. I, I, I won't say what it's for, but I did, But I think I, I think the whole thing, you know, so it's a trust, I think the angels just want me to trust. I keep praying for the protection. So I've got to trust that they're in good hands because that's what I said to them. Because said, if anything happens to them, that's it. I said, we're done. I said, like, like <laughs> oh, if you allow this shit to happen to them, my daughter, we're finished and I'm definitely checking out. Yeah. <laughs> but they're like, but, but I think they're not going to let anything happen to them. I keep saying protectors. That's why I was worried, like, like it's like we've missed the, the good timeline and because we didn't get this done in time and that's why I was worried that uh oh they're in danger now. But I just gotta like trust that they're not and just that uh, something some divine intervention is gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna happen, but somehow it can be reversed or something's gonna step in or I don't know. I just gotta try and trust the line, just not worry about it, but because I'm yeah, because I'm not sure you know what's in these, these things is it's not just like it's not like a flu vaccine. This is like it re reprograms your DNA and connects you, disconnects you from your soul and from God. And it's like it connects attention. It's a one step to also turn to the ball thrown into the hive mind. That is the agenda. And it's real. This is the worst thing they've ever made to inject into someone. It's like really like rewrites your DNA. And like it's like it's, it's serious stuff. It's not just a little normal thing. And but I just gotta trust that that it, but God is more powerful than that, isn't it? God is more powerful than anything. And and Somehow, God, if anyone can reverse it, God can, right? So that's what I just trust in him. But some people say it can't be reversed, but I'm just trusting that, like, that, 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 you know, mind over matter and that for intention and angels, you know, and healing that it can be reversed, you know. We truly so, are yeah. what we think about ourselves. And when you feed your brain with positive affirmations and give positive affirmations to others, what you are doing is helping recode your DNA to accept more healing and health and well-being. When we are young, we have a very long protein strand of our DNA. And as we get older based, and this is uh, scientifically proven and studied, as we grow older and based on our uh, life experiences and challenges and <clears throat> how we are able to receive them, if we are not receiving in a positive manner and are unable to overcome some of those challenges, what happens is we lose parts of that protein chain. And when our body regenerates, it has a shorter protein strand. It's part of the aging process. It's part of the, the whole process of balance or imbalance within the physical body system. But it starts with what we're thinking. And so you know just remember that david time really is irrelevant we are on god's time on god yeah i've got i've got to trust i've got to trust more because i think i just yeah just, along the way i lost my faith and trust a bit like lot, so many broken promises and so many things didn't happen i just you know just got just got knocked a few too many times and i was just trying to rebuild that and open my heart again and deal with a lot of stuff i won't go into it all now but it's a lot lot of shit like you know we've been through, it's just been one too many things and now i'm just i think this year is going to be a better year i think i think I, and, and i just need some company i'm isolated on my own and just yeah but i think i think it's going to get better this year like so i think hopefully like if people finally start understanding what, what i'm building and start getting some help that's going to definitely help lift right. my spirits so <laughs> that will help a bit awesome for me. Yeah, okay. If I eat my cold dinner now. That's worth it. I, know, I don't mind it went cold because I got. I think I needed more of a chat. I needed this bit more than that bit. The other bit wasn't really my area, but this is. I just need some like moral a moral boost. I just need some reminder that that, that we're still winning yeah. and the light's gonna win. <laughs> so thanks, guys. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, hey, Michael. Did you have something to say before we uh, end this meeting? Um. No, I don't know. Have uh, we heard from Lua? Uh, vision on the mission you're muted lua yeah uh many times um i think i've i've said it in different ways it's uh i mentioned to david about us needing to you know um go forward on um working together because that's how we're going to fill each other's gaps and help heal each other, right? So all of us have our areas where we're struggling. A, a 3D reality, I think, is probably a challenge for all of us in one way or another, uh, be it financially, be it because of physical pain, be it because of 
of uh, both, uh, all of the above, mental anguish, uh, all of the above. I think most of us are one or more or less in all three categories. Um, mm -hmm. But if we're learning how to work together, I 100% see, 100% see us within the next year overcoming all three for all of us. Amen. That's why um, this is so fundamental that uh, we have this agreement on how we're gonna move forward. Um, because if we're doing it as a collective, uh, be it a collective or a collaborative or a federation, whatever we agree on, if we're doing it as a team, we're gonna fill each other's gaps and we're gonna grow exponentially because alone, we're all geniuses in one way or another, but together, oh my God, what for a superhero team, right? Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, the whole great and the sum of the parts. That's why I say like all our pieces, like when I met Chris and and Raymond and um Holo Chain and Freefold and all these pieces, like oh my god, mind blowing. But when you put them together, it's like Power Rangers. It's like the, the, the ultimate form of what we combine is way beyond any of the pieces by itself. And that's why I've been desperately trying to integrate them all. Very, very right. That's why I'm trying to do is bring it all together. Because when, when when we connect all the pieces, it's just gonna it's just gonna. That's, that, that's why I know I've seen it in my vision so many times. When, 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 that's why I said to send people we can't get funding on our own because we know it wasn't meant to. We meant to have a unified joint funding proposal. I've been saying this for years. I'm so glad you guys were on the same page because I've been in calls for years and no one listened to me. They go, no, no, we want to do it on our own. We want to do our own crowdfunding. And, then, and this sort of dribs and drabs, dribs and drabs. And like, it's not going to work. It's not going to work in your silos. You, God, you know, wants us to work together as a team. We've got to unite and get out of our silos. And like, that's why you guys give me hope because I've basically was all about pretty much giving up, like just trying to work with anyone because they just weren't listening to me. It's like we've got to work together, like as one team. And then that is what unlocks the power. And, and, then, and then when we do that and we have like imagine why prototypes you integrated together, that's what our world is, is trying to bring all the bits inside it, like the releases. And then we release that into the world. And that's when Silicon Valley and Microsoft and Apple and Google go bye bye because literally they can't exactly. compete. We, 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 we should bring we bring like Star Trek technology. We, we, we should dump. We, we, we suddenly release something that's like hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years more advanced than anything they could even imagine because they're like lit services of service itself. So their imagination is so limited, like shy horses. They can't see more than four years into the future. We're channeling stuff that's like 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 galactically, like millions of years more advanced, and we're building this stuff. So when it comes out. They're obsolete overnight. As I've seen my visions. They literally go bye bye, and all the, the whole net, all the networks collapse, and everyone joins the races. Everyone comes out, joins this new revolutionary platform that we're building, and like that—that's the power we have. We don't have to compete with them. That we just literally don't have to fight them. We just make them obsolete. We build we build something that's so beyond anything else, and all humanity goes. Hang on a minute. Why? Let's use this. This is way better, and it's not killing people, and 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 it's helping people, and and it's like. And yeah, it's just like an, an vibration. They can feel the vibration of it. It's much higher, and just to, just to, just to be part of it, and that's that's what's going to happen. But it's to like do this, back to, the... we need to integrate everything, not only the technology and not only the human aspect, not only the individual human aspect, not only the collaborative, uh, you know, new um, ways of working together in community human aspect, uh, but that with the regener regenerative uh, aspect, with the new cities, with the permaculture and X, Y, Z, all yep. together. We need yep. to do this. That's probably why we're not getting funding because we haven't figured out how to organize ourselves so we'd even know where to channel it. So that's what we're doing in these meetings because once we know where to channel it, it's gonna magically appear. Yep. It will. But we got to first channel it that we're all together organized and we've agreed and we're flowing. And when we're flowing, energy in that way is also going to flow because the energy is going to be flowing. That's the fundamental. That's the foundation. That's what we're, we're doing here. The same direction. So right now, we're all like trying to, up to now, people pull in 10 directions at once. I'm like, we just got to figure out what's the priorities and just coordinate and and work as one team. This is what I kept saying to people. Like, like it's so annoying. People go, oh, we're in different membranes. And, and, and my team and our team. No, we're just one team. It's team Earth right. to me. It's like yeah. we, are, we are one team distributed across the entire surface of the planet. And when we go for a funding proposal, we then say we've got like 
400 engineers. We've got 200 permaculture specialists. We've got da, 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 in, in 26 locations around the earth. We've got an office in London. We've got an office in there. Office in, you know, it, it might not be a back, might, in Norway, it might be a van, but, but, but we have, we've got a, 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 a mobile a mobile office. You know, we just, we just, we've got Scotland to talk like, translate it into, into their language. But it's in one paper, that, that presentation is way more impressive than our little, our one, our little voice on our own going, oh, please give me funding. But Absolutely. when we're one massive, United front, one United team with like all these massive specialists, like and, and our prototypes all shown to them at the same time. They're gonna go like, let's go open a checkbook and go, how much do you need? And like, they're just gonna give us an open checkbook, like, like you know, where the money is gonna come from, or Universal just find some way of dumping billions. I'm, I've seen it, billions and billions and billions of funds is gonna come. So it's gonna be more yep. than we can possibly imagine, like more, way more than we need. It's just gonna yep. be a, a overflowing abundance. Well. And just like struck like now we're just trying to stay alive like just trying to feed ourselves <laughs> don't you think that so. that's going to make all of our stories if we really think about it we all have incredible stories of hardship i know um all of you here uh well enough to know that all of you have um incredible hardship that you've overcome i don't know all the details but i know enough to know that it's incredibly painful all of us here so could it not be that this, like what Lyra was talking about, is exactly what was necessary to get us to the point where we can tip the scale because we need the energy of the pain to somehow overcome? Otherwise, we'd never make something so great. It is the lack yeah. of love that wants us to find love. It is the lack of gratitude that wants us to find gratitude. When we are in trials and tribulations, we can appreciate those times of smooth flowing much better because we have the understanding. Uh, it, when I talk to people, it's like when I was born under the stars. It was that I was a quadruple Aries and I have all these triumphs going on. But what did that mean to me as an individual? I'm entering into a world under a set of parameters that have been set that I chose as a soul to embody. So here we are, spirit and mind together in our own corporeal forms. We have the lessons we learn, and then we take those lessons to share and enable others to not have to go through so many challenges, so much pain. But it was us going through that pain that enables that to happen. And so it is. I, 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 a, yes, go ahead, David. Just to and and um, this what came to me is for it's like and and to have more compassion because because I, like, I was so, so it's like a sport child, a sport child grew up in a, in, like, in like a palace. And never appreciate anything and I just be like spoiled and I just like, take everything for granted but because we like we, we grew up in the trenches been shot at like for a whole life like like when, when we get something give, even just a, a bit of bread given to us we're like oh my god thank you thank you we're so grateful but as a sport child it's like, like just throw it in your face kind of thing spit at you and that's what it's like because like we had to be learn gratitude and, and, and have and we have some sort of compassion and unconditional love for, for the people we're trying to help because we've been there and, and people can relate to us because if we just like Superman or superheroes, we just jumped out of the sky. And like, how do you know what it's like to be like, how do you know what it's like to be down in the trenches? You don't know who we are. You don't know what we've been through. Like, yeah, we do. We lived as you, as one of you. We've bled with you. We've cried with you. We've sweated with you. We've, we've done everything. We've been through it all. Like, and that's why I know that's the start of the journey, isn't it? It's like we had to go through all the pain and suffering. So when we do come the leaders, that, that, that we, we, can tell, we can share our stories and like, oh my God, you do understand. You are, you have been one of us. Like, yes, we know. And we overcome it and we healed ourselves. And now we can show you how to do it yourself that's that team. connection and and yeah. that's that's what we're here to you know show as a synergy of mind so this is this is a great introduction and i hope that you share this video with those that you want to have participate in the continuing growth and development of this meshing uh project I think as far as Michael, you know, I don't know if that gives you a good overview of what the vision and mission here is with the, this group of individuals. Do you have any thoughts as, on your end, Michael? None at all. 
Okay. You have a lot of thoughts. How is that possible? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. No. No. No, effort. no, nothing really. No, it's just like really amazing seeing everyone come together like, like that. Yes, and it will be fantastic. And we want to keep on building on this. So again, we have the four different uh, categories to look at. Um, our feelings and needs, what our needs are, what our vision is, what we are bringing, what do we have to offer? And what was the fourth one? I, I'm, I'm looking. Hold on. You. Uh -oh. uh, vision, values, needs, offerings. Thank you. Thank you. So those that's are those, those. That's the homework. And we will have a link available for the um, air, air file. Air table. Air table. I am. Um, names, words, brain. I, I get that. Slightly. <laughs> it's, been a, it's been a wonderful uh, call and thank you all for your energy and devotion and dedication. This is awesome. Yeah, thank, thank you for the support. I think I just wanted to feel part of a team again. That's because that's the hardest part. It's like having a human contact. I'm just on a, living in a cabin in someone's garden two hours away from my friends and family and I can't see them and I'm putting crystals on my own. And it just gets a bit depressing, all these things, and you just, it's just human contact. That's why I speak so hard going for all this stuff and then having no human contact. And like, that's, I think that's why I came on this call. I just like, the universe has told me, like, go, go on it. You know, the first part of it wasn't really relevant to me because I'm not a tech, but what I really needed was a human connection, I think, and just see a friendly face again and, and just, and just to um, feel, feel like I belong again and just give me hope again. And just, I think, just to reassure me that we haven't, the world is safe. And that we are on a good timeline, and like, don't worry about our families and stuff. It's all going to be still going to work out, and all protect. And I just need yes. a bit of, um, I think, I think I just need a top up of my faith. I need a bit of a faith top up and a bit of a morale boost. So thank you for that. <laughs> we we lift each other up by working together, and we are here to lift everyone up together. And we will, yeah. as a as a unified team, we will create the change that we're looking for. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> ah! All righty, you, you, everyone, you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll send you out this, the link to this meeting when it is. Hey. <laughs> Thank you so right. much. Thank you so much, Nate, for holding the space for us. You guys are amazing. Yeah, really thank you. It's because yeah, of you let guys. Us know when you're, when when you're uh, next right. available, okay. Lua. Pardon? Let us know when you're next available, Lua. I know you're really excited to get a lot of this stuff kicked off. At the same time, yeah. we want to uh, dignify your personal requirements. Like, you got to take care of you. Go yeah, eat, yeah. go take your walk, do yoga, what you need to do for your own personal schedule and uh, quality of life. Thank you. Ditto to you, David. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, that, that's fine. That's why we're quite similar. I mean, Lewis, we're very really sensitive. Like, just, just, like, that's why 70% of my time is just lying in bed, doing yoga, meditating, nature. It's, that's why I only get two hours of coding. I don't sit in front of the computer all day coding. I can't because of my, my health needs. I, I, need, I need to like do the yoga, meditation, mindfulness, and rest lots because I'm not sleeping very well. So just... I eventually want to get that sorted out so I get more optimal. But that's why I'm, I'm guided I'm going to go back to Bali soon. Running back to Bali with high energies and the sunshine and the sea, that's going to help. Because when I was in Bali, I was way more productive. I was seeing like five, six hours a day then. And I had everything perfectly balanced. I just don't work well in the dark. I, I, need, I need Superman. I need the sun. I need the sun. <laughs> and UK, in winter UK doesn't work for me. I was, I've, in, it's like October, I, I started declining. My health just deteriorated yeah. when the sun went away. And I, I need to get out of this country. I need to get in the higher vibe. The sunshine, beaches, and that that's when I sleep better because I can I can swim in the sea every day. Well, it's gonna affect and your work why. too. Hold that vision; it will <clears throat> yeah. happen. It will. I, I'm told. I'm told it's gonna happen soon. Yeah, I, I, I'm told I'm gonna be invited by a friend there. I think it's through Seeds, Ricky, at Seeds, um, Ricky Seeds or something. So I'm just gonna see. Like I get getting science body. Like the other day, the the cat landlord's cat come looks after me. That's why I, my company, like a cat, like, is finally come home sleeps with me now, kind of thing. 
and like mm. sometimes random things happen like like like, like she'll just walk, walk and stuff and like send a map will come on my computer at Bali and things like that and she'll just the like, universe uses the cat to send me messages it'll type something out on the keyboard it walks across the keyboard randomly but it's not randomly and suddenly it'll open a map of Bali or okay or go here she just somehow type something on the keyboard just pause it's mm. crazy I'm like okay cool <laughs> all right everybody we gotta get going get this uploaded yeah. and converted yeah. Cool. Yeah. I, I, hopefully it'll work this time. Fingers crossed it won't be like last time. Yeah. yeah. Great. Uh, thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, all. guys. Thank, thank you, team. I love you all. Thank you. Like, because you guys, plus Lumily, anyone who understood, anyone who seemed to understand or see me or my project. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, thank you so much. Because it's because you guys were still going. If it wasn't for you, I think I would have given up. So thanks no, for that. Don't give up. Don't give up. <laughs> Up. No, I won't now because you guys, because I'm saying, because I, I just need at least one person to understand or see me and my, what I'm trying to bring to the world, and that keeps me going. Up to this point, like no one's really seen it, so I'm really grateful. Thank you. We see you, we acknowledge you, and we support you, David. Yeah, thank you. You can Where call on us anytime. Thank you. Thank you. I love you all. Have a good day or well, good evening now. I've got to like yeah, eat and yoga, go to bed. All right. All right. Bye-bye. See you. Love you.